Oh my god, Daddy! Daddy returned from the store. Oh, he said he was gonna go get milk and smokes, and he was gone forever. But now he's back. Happy Father's Day! Oh, what a wonderful occasion! What a wonderful occasion! Look at those, look at those happy little puddings. There's Dad. That's about right. That's about the look of a man that has to have another man feed his children spaghettios. It's a rough, it's a rough day. Oh, let me end this poll. Uh, buy a hat for your hat? Well, it looks like it's overwhelmingly 100% yes. Fantastic. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad everybody's in complete agreement about this. We've got a, a fun little, a fun little show today. A fun little stream going over internet fathers. Oh, everybody loves them. Everybody loves a good internet dad. And there are plenty of stories out there to follow. And two in particular, I'm going to be kind of hyper-focused on. Talk about a few other things as well. And I'd be remiss if I didn't remind you all to go buy my merchandise, because I am a shill at the end of the day. And look at all those, all those new items available. Oh my god. How fantastic. And as I'm shilling, unrepentantly so, telling you to buy mugs and hats and shirts. By the way, somebody mentioned this, and I can't fucking believe I didn't, I didn't hone in on it when I did the Ricada stream. And I put his face on a mug, and they're like, why didn't you say buy a mug for your mug or get a mug of your mug? Great marketing. Completely fucking dropped the ball on it. Not even, not even think. I'm so focused on hats, I let that marketing opportunity just slip through my fingers. But uh, we had a little issue earlier with Ko-Fi for some reason. I don't know if somebody's trying to kneecap me or what. But for some reason, for about an hour or two, nobody could donate. Now, I think I've unfucked it. And I have a suspicion there might be an uh, oinking madman behind this. But it should be fixed. I don't know. The only way we can test it out, Chad, is if you all donate. I mean, let's make sure that Ko-Fi link works. <laughs> let's make sure it works. Don't let the pig win. Don't let him win, folks. Actually, I'm not sure really what happened, but something did. All of a sudden, all the, all the, all the money got turned off. I don't know what the fuck, <laughs> how you fuck up Ko-Fi. I somehow did it, but it should be unfucked. Please don't make me have to go to eBay like Teddy. I don't want to sell Pretty Princess Disney playsets and bootleg, uh, bootleg Little Mermaid German versions. For 79 cents a piece, okay? I don't want that to be my fucking future. Please make sure that Ko-Fi link works, folks. Let's all make sure that Ko-Fi link works so Jim doesn't have to go to eBay and sell pretty princess shit. It's a little scary. Nobody, wa <laughs> Nobody wants to make their, their fucking living on you. Oh, Teddy, Jesus. Someday I'll get into your story. That'll be a fun one. That'll be a fun one, Teddy. Okay, let me make sure I've got everything lined up here. Have I have I hoard myself out enough, Chad? Have we done enough? I played the uh, intro thing. I've got the merch up on screen. I, I could do like the Kino Casino and start screaming sub train, but there's no subs over here. I can't, like I got, I got nothing. I got, I got there's no sub trains uh, choo-chooing over here. I'm sorry, folks. No, instead we're, we're celebrating Father's Day. Who is your daddy and what does he do? That's right. Who is your daddy and what does he do? Now, I know when I talk about Internet Fathers, you have people come to mind immediately. I know there are things that pop up. How could they not? One person in particular, I know everybody's like, oh, he's going to have to mention him. There's no way he can't not mention him. So let me let me give this little man his little bit of attention because we have more funny, entertaining things to get to. But I will mention a contender. Maybe I'll do a poll at the end. And you can all choose which of these fathers are the best father on the internet. <laughs> so let's start it off with what is obviously going to get mentioned for at least a few minutes. Ethan Ralph, the rage pig himself. Oh, I love my son. I love my, help me do my $1,300 fundraiser. I'm going to just zany myself out. And, oh God, I'm tired. Oh, I'm tired. Those are bug bites on my daughter. Let me call her a little bitch. Good old Ethan. Dad of the year contender? Sure, why not? Let's throw his name into the ring. Now, I buried this motherfucker already on a stream. There's really not much to go over. I think you're all familiar with him and his shenanigans. And that's your minute, Rage Piggy. That's your full minute of attention. 
I hope that sustains you for the next fucking half a year. <laughs> I hope that funds your tortas for the next six months. <laughs> oh, he's a hollering now. Oh, so mad. Oh, I'm a piggy. <laughs> oh. Oh, Ralph, you silly fucker. Uh, you know, I, I could I could go into depth, but you know he's a terrible father. Jesus Christ. I had to shame the man into paying child support. That's a true story, by the way. Ethan Ralph refused to pay child support until I made merchandise making fun of him. I used to sell a shirt that said, I spent more money on this shirt than Ethan did his son. And then all of a sudden he wants to pay child support. That's, that's the kind of caliber of dad we're talking about. I could go into the drinking and the drug use and the abuse and all that shit. You all, you, everybody fucking knows it. Everybody fucking knows it. Now we want to move on to the more interesting shit. The newer stuff. The stuff we haven't got over before. The thing that really inspired this particular stream was somebody by the name of Thorpe. Uh, Benjamin Thorpe. Now I'm not sure if you're very familiar with him. I'm not super familiar with him. Um, I've encountered him a bit here and there. Uh, but even looking into just just a little bit of it, uh, it's a bit of a wild story. So let's this is our let's say contestant. We're not even gonna count Ralph. I'm sure, he's got four tits, but he's not really a full person, so we can't call him contender number one. Instead, we're gonna just we're gonna start with Ben Thorpe. He's contender number one. Let me pull the sexy man up. Look at that. Is that not the most fuckable individual you've ever seen? Does that not ooze sex appeal to you? Now, you're about to hear a bit of a wild story. There's a lot to this gentleman. Uh, way more than I could cover. There, there are fucking video documentaries on him that run three, four hours long on YouTube. If you're interested, you can find them by multiple fucking channels. But I put together a nice little, a nice little like collage, a summary of what makes him a fantastic father. What makes him daddy of the year. And I think, I think you're all going to really, really enjoy it. I think you're going to really enjoy what makes him a daddy of the year. Oh, boy. Let's see how far we can push the limits on YouTube. Now, we're going to be... Let me put a trigger warning up here. <laughs> we're going to be talking about some daddy-on-daughter action. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's it's weird talking about the subject of incest without Destiny running in to get into the debate. <laughs> but we're going to be we're going to be going over it. Oh, somebody's fucking their daughter. Don't tell Vito about this stream. He'll get his pants off. We'll never get rid of him. Okay. Let's get these clips lined up. It's a little, it's a little Vito joke. <laughs> it's, a, it's a tiny little Vito joke there. Let me light a cigarette. Because, whew, am I going to need it? Now, what brought Ben to my attention? Well, Ben has had a, a rough couple of months. I think this goes back, I would say, until, oof, was it March or April when this really popped off? Now, he's been doing goofy shit on the internet for a while. You've probably seen him. Maybe you've seen him pop up here and there. He's been on Ralph's show. He's been on other people's shows. People have done videos about him. Uh, he's got a sordid history. Uh, but really what brought him to my attention was the numerous arrests. And we're going to talk about why he got arrested. But let's, let's start at the beginning, because that's where else are you going to begin a story? Let's start with the assault. Uh oh, down 911. There's an assault going on. You look like you're gonna cry, and then you hold back because you're so afraid of daddy doing something to you. You're so afraid of daddy doing something to you. Now that's uh, Ben. That would be Ben laying on his bed, and that would be his daughter who he just mule kicked. <laughs> Let's back it up. Daddy's coming for you. To cry and then you hold back because you're so afraid of daddy doing something to you. Right? Uh -oh. No, that's literally not why. All bullshit all the time. She's a little stunned right now. I mean, I guess... I guess any little girl would be if Daddy mule kicked them on the bed. Oh, and we'll get to why they're on a bed together on their little trip cross country. <laughs> and well, God, what a fucked up story. So yeah, the Daddy mule kicks. She gets a little fucked up over it. That's literally not why. I don't mean to do this. 
I've got... Daddy, I'm so sorry that I let you kick me like a mule. Uh, oh, let me scratch... Oh, I love the psycho reaction. That's always good. You could tell there's some deep-seated fucking trauma here. Not why. Watch, let's just spaz out. <laughs> oh, there's a little bit of trauma. Chat, is there a little bit of trauma going on here? I think there might be a tiny bit of a little trauma, a little bit of damage, maybe. I think there might be a little bit of damage. I'm sorry! Oh, my God! I don't mean to do this! So that would be like, that's classic Darvo, right? Like, he literally mule kicks this chick. And, like, she's apologizing for it. He's like, You're, you fucked up. So, uh, how could you make daddy hit you? <laughs> how could you? God, oh, what a worthless daughter this girl is. She made daddy hit her. You should apologize. Apologize, right? Clean the carpet. Yeah. Oh, oh I'm so upset. So, so, our father of the year contestant, Ben, uh, mule kicks his daughter. And I believe this is what set the chain of events into place. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But, of course, it leads to arrest number one. Yes, that's right. There are multiple arrests coming up. So let's take a look at arrest arrest number one. Joke for the stream. Now, this happened almost immediately. If, I, if I'm remembering this right, if I've got the timeline chronology right, I don't know. I could be wrong. But she gets meal kicked and cries and says she's a fuck up. And then here we are. We got another stream started up. As the popo show up, and they're like, "Hey, did you know it's illegal to kick people? <laughs> did you? You can't really assault people on camera. It's kind of this thing called a crime." Can I even see him? Is it raining where you live? What the fuck? Oh, let's be quiet right now. Yeah, so uh, here's a story, officer. My dumb fucking daughter hurt my foot when I kicked her. Uh, can we put her in jail? All right, I've got, I stubbed my toe kicking this bitch. I would really appreciate it if we could maybe file some charges here, officer. I don't think it worked out very well for him because they put his ass in cups. All the childhood trauma lost like tears in the rain. I like how she cleans off the lens just so she can cry a little harder. And she's still apologizing. Gets kicked by her father. Spazzes out on stream. Now she's freaking out because daddy's getting arrested. Don't worry, Grace. I see, I, I love this, by the way. I see people in chat saying, um, oh, this is some dark shit, Jim. This is some Silent Hill stuff. This poor kid, oh my God, this poor girl. Uh, you haven't, we haven't even got to the dark part yet. All you've seen is a mule kick and her crying and freaking out a little bit. I know that you can sense it, chat. You can feel it in the air, it's electric. You know, we all know watching this that there's some damage to this girl. And I don't mean from the kick. There's some shit going on. But we, wait till you wait till you find out what kind of damage we're, oh, we're getting to some really dark shit. Let me just pause a second, Grace. What you need to do? Are you still there? Okay. Yeah. We <laughs> uh, I should also mention half of these fucking streams, like the arrest streams and other things, they're like done in these group calls. So you'll hear people pop on occasionally, and you're like, "Who the fuck is that?" I don't know who they are. Let's just ignore who they are. We'll focus on the video itself. <laughs> oh, okay, miss, uh, if you can put your hands behind your back, you're uh, getting arrested for being a dumb bitch in the first degree. This is a man's world, and uh, when daddy hits you, you're supposed to take it. I know that sounds uh, completely fucked up, but you're under arrest, Grace. All right, first, you got molested. That's your fault. Secondly, you got kicked. That is also your fault. Miss, you're going to jail for a long time. Can you put the camera down? No, of course not. 
Of course not. That would be ludicrous. But of course, this is a crazy fucking story, and it's kind of like that. Wait till you see. One year is one of my more camp, okay? Okay. Based on like, whatever you guys had going on in your live stream today, somebody reported it, and it was like they're kicking you in the line. Right? So in Rhode Island, that's considered domestic assault. Right? Domestic violence. Simple assault. All right. I understand you have your YouTube podcast and everything like that, whatever you guys do. But, essentially, but it was a right. joke, and I don't have any problem with what happened! Listen, miss, I understand you're one of those YouTubers. I've seen YouTubers before. You're a bunch of fucking weirdos, to be honest with you. But, by God, we still have to arrest him for kicking you like a mule, miss. I love how the cops, like, try to subtly explain it. Like, yeah, no, I get it. You're YouTubers. Complete fucking freaks of the earth. I've seen YouTubers. There's like this guy called I Am Alex, like he's doing these little T-Rex spasms. I saw that. That was a recent thing, miss. All right, threatened to brick his girlfriend or something, smash her head against the wall. I get it. You're all fucking screwed up people. But I work a regular job. Because I got this badge on my shirt, I've got to haul daddy off to prison. And it's all your fault. I hope that doesn't upset you, but it's your fault. Hands are tied, okay? So what's going to happen is he's going to go to the station. He's going to be processed. He's going to be booked and everything like that. Um, I know it's a cash bail for $50. I don't know if you drive or anything like that. Yeah. Okay. So, like I said, Wait, what did he say there? He said the cash bail is $50. Quick, if you want to go to the station. Oh. The bond yeah, is $50? I went, there. They, I went there. they did not say that. What did they say? They, they said it could be up to 10000 So. That's arrest number one. Now, what happens? He gets he gets he gets arrested. Now, I, I, if I remember vaguely from when this first happened, and again, I just it's just me watching bits and pieces of it. It didn't really catch my attention until we get more arrests into this. Uh, but it was like, was it fifty bucks? Was it ten thousand dollars? Was it a thousand dollars? The point is, he posted bond. He got out. He he was able to bail himself out, or he got out somehow. Released on his own recognizance, recognizance. Maybe the judge was like, dude, that was a like, you should play football, man. That was a field goal worthy kick right into her fucking sternum. And I'm just going to let you walk out of the jail. I, I don't know exactly, but he got out. Now, arrest number two, a bit problematic. A little bit of a difficulty here. There is footage of it, but the only footage I could really find of it was um, on a, somebody else's podcast where they talk over the entirety of it. But basically, a no contact order was put into place. He gets arrested for simple assault, from my understanding. He bails out the the judge, the law, basically say, hey, uh, you two can't be near each other while these criminal proceedings are going on. Uh, if you violate this uh, no contact order, whatever it is, restraining order, uh, we're going to bring you back into jail. Maybe it's a bond condition. Who knows? And so arrest number two happens. And again, there was a full video, 40 minutes long of this happening from body cam footage. It got privated. Uh, and, and there is there is footage. But I got a 10 second snippet to give you a feel of it. Just a feel of it. This is arrest number two. Are you two. still living on... Um, let's see. You still living in Warren now, Ben? In Warren? Yeah. Yes or no? Yeah. So they find out, and I believe it's because... And this is probably the most brilliant thing. Here's here's really smart thinking. You know, noggin jogging level shit. Um, when you break the law, always make sure to record yourself and live stream it. It's a smart decision to do. Uh, when you assault your daughter and the police arrest you and you bail out, make sure that you do multiple streams where you both can be seen and heard together. So the police have ample evidence when fucking <laughs> A-logs call them to come and arrest you at every location you go to. So here come the cops, and I believe that's arrest number 10. I'm pretty sure they didn't just cite him. I'm pretty sure they hauled his ass back in. Somehow he, he finagles his way through this one. So he assaults, he assaults his daughter, gets arrested. Bails out, seen with her uh, during a no contact order, somehow finagles his way out again. This, I, whatever county they live in, must love watching women get beat. <laughs> it must be a fucking pastime. They must, they, it's like the Olympics for them. This is a fucking team sport. You got the judge, the prosecutor, just cheering them on with foam hands and shit. Kick that bitch. Kick her good. I'm not exactly sure, but somehow he got out. Some, somehow he found his way out. Which leads us into what got my attention. So, I mean, that's kind of the buildup, right? You got the assault, you've got a couple of arrests, but we're going to go for the trifecta, a hat trick in hockey, if you will, for arrest number three. And again, when you're committing a crime, please make sure that you film it and that everybody knows that you're violating a no contact order.
What if the cops are chatters fucking with her? Now, the fun part about this, uh, we've got multiple camera angles too. We'll, we'll look at a second camera angle of this happening. Um, is I believe she lied to the cops because they're like in a, <laughs> it's like an SNL skit. You ever see in a van down by the river? That's basically what's going on here. They have literally hid in the woods in the world's shittiest RV. <laughs> But so this is a brilliant plan. Can can the one of the Thorps answer me? Like what what was the brilliant plan here? You're gonna hide in the fucking woods so you can be together and the cops can't fuck with you. But then you're gonna live stream the location so they know that you're together and the cops can come fuck with you. Doesn't that def you must be the world's worst hide and seek players that have ever existed? You were like the kids nobody wanted on their team because you just stand in the middle of the road screaming. That's not really how you hide. Ben, Ben, Grace, why are you in the street screaming? This is hide and seek. That's not. That's not how the game is played. Can I call in real quick? They're talking to each other. <laughs> Cops looked inside of Daisy and said, mm, "The ghetto, the ghetto." They're putting the dog back. Just so we can get out of here, okay? Okay, miss. Uh, this is like the third time we've been called down here. I'm starting to get actually a little angry myself. Now, I know that your father mule kicked you, but I've got shit to do. We've got like burglars and rapists and killers and shit. I'm going to mule, mule kick you, Grace. Like, yeah, really, I've reached my limit with your shit. All right? It's going to be more than daddy. I've got a taser and a baton. And this is the third fucking time I've had to track you horny little idiots down in the woods. All right? I'm not getting paid enough for this shit, Grace. And we can put this to rest. Can you unlock the van for us? We're going to look in the van. If he's not there, we're leaving for the night. We're not going to be here all night. Both our dogs show no interest in the woods, so we're not going to sit here all day. So I don't want to just... answer any more questions about our attorney present. No, all I'm saying is, can you just open up your dad's car so we can look inside, make sure he's not there. If he's not there, we're out of here. I'm not going to answer any questions about an attorney present. Okay. Oh, great, Bob. We got a sovereign citizen. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, maybe the mule kick made her retarded. Next, she's going to be talking about land boats, the Articles of Confederation. Just open the fucking door, Grace. They got a drone. That's the drone. That's the drone. That's the drone. We have you surrounded. We're not going anywhere. We're going to force entry if you don't come out. You're just going to get more charges. Make it easy on yourself. Come out with your hands up. We're going to break your window. We're going to go in and we're going to take you out of there. Come out with your hands up. They said they're going to break the window. What, did you think they were going to magic their way through the door, Grace? The cop asked you, could you open the door for us? It's locked. You're like, I don't want to answer any questions without an attorney. <laughs> and she's got that surprised squirrel look on her face like, they're going to break the window? Yeah, they're going to break the window. They're going to have SWAT come down there with a bulldozer and fucking crunch this thing in half. It's going to be like a little Ben Sardine popping out, Grace. Maybe just open the fucking door. There's all of them right there. Don't we need to get a warrant for this? Do, do they need a, a warrant? The dude, Grace, seriously. He's been arrested, to, what is this, a fucking assault and then violating the, the, the no restraint order and now potentially doing it aside. I don't think they need a warrant, I think, at this point. I mean, remember, you're live streaming this in the forest. <laughs> and look, this fucking setting's like a horror movie. I feel like I'm on the set of a horror movie, like fucking uh, Jason Voorhees is going to come around a tree and just machete people. Like, what? This is the darkest fucking place they could park? <laughs> so are they filming uh, filming the new fucking Saw movie out here? I don't, like, what the fuck? Let's go camp in the spookiest place possible for our incest fiasco. What the fuck? There's the drone. Uh, 
I love like I like to imagine that Ben is in there because he's like a tall dude. He's like six seven. He's like an ogre. The guy's fucking retardedly tall. It's a big dude. I like to imagine he's trying to hide behind like one of the back seats as they have their floodlights right on him. Like we can see you, you know. I'm looking right at you, and he's like, I'm invisible. If I, it's like a little kid logic. If I can't see you, you can't see me. I'm invisible. <laughs> I'm totally hidden in here, six foot seven, crouching behind the world's smallest chair with your floodlight on me. You can't find me. Yeah, he's right there. Yeah, he's definitely in there. He's in there. He's right there. The mirror's well, you can't see it. Come out now! I can't open it. Stop, stop Benjamin, get out! Come on, Benjamin. Oh, there he's there. Oh, there. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, Benjamin. Uh, yeah, hey, Shrek, uh, we can see your fucking giant ass in there. Uh, ten four, buddy? Uh, I see you, Shrek. You're not hiding in this swamp very well. There's no donkey coming to sing a musical number. We're putting you in chains, okay, old boy? <laughs> How about you hobble your green ass the fuck on out of here before I get my mace? No, 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 you don't have to. Back up. You have to open the bathroom door in order for him to get out. You have to open hey, the bathroom door. Made this so much harder on yourself, my man. Thanks for lying, but we got him. <laughs> hey, thanks a lot, you dumb bitch. Yeah, we saw the uh, fucking giant man living in your van. Wasn't hard to spot him. His head is literally poking the metal out. The aluminum's bent around it. He is 19 feet tall. What were you trying to hide? You called it. Yeah, I, I thought I could, I could hear muffled. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. I knew right when the dogs had no interest in going down there. Thirty seven AC five. We caught the ogre. 10 4. Tell SWAT to return to base. Ogre is in custody. That's a tight fit. The pants are going down. No, I'll, I'll, when you walk out, I'll pick him up. Don't worry about it. I'll pull him up. Now that's interesting. So he gets arrested in a van in the woods with his daughter. And the first thing he says to the cops after they get in there is, My pants are falling down. My pants, I can't get my pants on. Why would there be a pantsless ogre in a van with a young girl in the woods? I don't know. Let's keep watching. Come on, you have a cell phone or anything like that? Your daughter can get for you? She can bring that. She can bring that phone for you. I don't care. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know what the fuck you're going to be. You're going to be about to work What am I doing? I told you, look at look at the size of this guy. Why were you trying, Ben, why were you trying to hide in the van? Your head literally scrapes aluminum. <laughs> look at the size of you, motherfucker. Where were you hiding? There's nowhere to hide. You're enormous. <laughs> Did you think they weren't going to spot you? Uh, RO violation. Because she has an RO against you. Yeah, it's in the system. Yeah. We've confirmed it with Rhode Island. Yeah. Give me the note. No contact. Uh, it says, uh, yeah, it's still a no contact. It's still the same thing. Massachusetts. So. I'm sorry, Dad. Yeah. God, it would have been Kino if, when she said, I'm sorry, Dad, if he just fucking broke free of the police and mule kicked her right in the chest. It's your fault, you fucking slut. <laughs> you did it again, Gracie. Just full-on cops episode, meth strength, ogre rage. Break, look at those cops, are like three feet tall, just tosses them aside like little Lego bricks and just punts her ass across the forest in a furious rage. <laughs> it's your fault, Gracie. No, no, no. Yeah, I love you, Dad. I'm sorry they're doing this. I have shoes. I 
Yeah, where's your leather? It's funny. It's big man. I know you can't say anything, but I really love you. I'm really sorry this is happening. <laughs> yeah, I'm so sorry this is happening. God, sorry every time you get arrested, I've got a camera in your face. Sorry, live stream every time we try to secretly do this and fuck it up repeatedly. Sorry about that. I love you. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You kicked me. Um, probably. But my car is ready the biggest one. Is ever. Okay. How did I violate the no contact? Are you having contact with yeah. me right now? How, how did you violate the no contact order? Well, sir, uh, the woman that you fucking mule kicked happens to be literally standing right next to you screaming, I love you, daddy. Um, that might be how you violated the no contact order, sir. Right now? No. She's right here, right? She's, She's right with here. you. That's a pretty, pretty solid contact, right? And we have right? numerous witnesses saying you were... Have I contacted her? Right, we're not going to talk about it. It's fine, you can unlawfully arrest me. Okay. This way. This is total bullshit. This is uh, Can you prove that I've had contact with her? Sir, she's standing literally right next to you. I don't know who that woman is. I've never seen her before. Sir, your boot print is tattooed on her chest. I don't know what you... We have forensic running it right now. Sir, I'm pretty sure it's going to match your footprint. I, I've never seen this girl in my life. Officer, I thought this was America. I thought this was the land of the free. Let me out of these cuffs. I'm going to kick that bitch. Which bitch would that be, sir? You're right. I don't know who that bitch is. She's just fucking strange. I'm just camping in the woods. Went out to fish a little bit, and this uh, strange woman approached me. Started calling me daddy. I don't know who the fuck she is. I don't know who the fuck this is. <laughs> okay. So this got my attention, right? This is arrest number three. I was going to show you the second angle. I think you get it. You get it. You get it. So, uh, you know, commits assault, gets arrested once. Goes to jail, bonds out, gets arrested twice or apprehended by the cops twice. Snakes out of it. Uh, third time, gets arrested. And I think he's out again, right? We've seen him in chat. Wasn't he in chat saying they're doing a stream right now? Which I'm sure is going to lead to great consequences. <laughs> More fantastic outcomes. So, what's the backstory here, right? Because now I'm sure you're interested. Okay, this is a little weird. Uh, dad mill kicks his daughter gets arrested three times because of it. they're hiding in the woods in a van together where mom you know where's mom where's where's other family siblings and relatives what the fuck is going on here so i tried to put together a little just a little snippet again i'd recommend go look it up yourself there's like hours of this shit people have done documentaries and interviews and you can go look it all up but i took i took a few things some testimonies some stories a little bit of the family dynamic and just put it together because we're talking about contestant number one for father of the year on Father's Day. So let's go into what I like to lovingly call the, um, what did I title this? Oh, the blowjob story. <laughs> oh, hello, darkness, my old friend. How old was Grace when you had her perform fellatio on a bottle of beer that was between your legs for her mother? Now I did that happen. Okay, I'll, I will answer that question. I will answer that question. Ben, did you that You cannot happen? perform fellatio on a bottle of beer, retard. Okay, all right. Was she... Seems like a coat. Now fellatio wait, wait, wait. is sucking wait, a dick. Wait, you wait, can wait, simulate wait, fellatio right. on a was bottle of doing? beer. Now, wait, ben, I'm now, sure ben, you do on a night Hold on, Ben. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Grossly, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Ben, did, did that happen? Did she simulate fellatio on a bottle of yes. beer? Yes. So there I was, just uh, watching a football game, and I had a, a Budweiser in between my lap, and I said, uh, hey, daughter. She didn't pay attention, so I mule kicked the bitch, and then she paid attention. I said, hey, daughter, unless you want another mule kick, daddy wants you to suck on his Budweiser. Uh, mommy's watching. Come suck on daddy's Budweiser. Come suck. Yeah, maybe maybe you're confused. Did that happen? Was the question? Was she sucking a beer bottle in your crotch? What was she doing? Now wait, Ben. Now, I'm sure ben. you do on a night Hold on, Ben. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Grossly, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Ben, did did that happen? Did she s simulate fellatio on a bottle? Yes. Of okay. Yes. Now. Oh, uh, okay. that happened in the prior location. Right. Yes. Yikes. Okay. Now, now, Grossly. <laughs> I didn't tell her. To, uh, we have to be careful of language. I did not have her perform. Or simulate Did fellatio you have on a bottle of beer. Did you say, hey, stop this? Or was it, like, was it just a funny joke? I am the victim here. I did not have her perform this. She forced it upon me. I can't get away from this girl, okay? Every time I have a beer bottle in my lap, it's like she's like, she thinks I'm a shark. She acts like a lamprey. She's like a leech thing. I don't, she's sucking blood. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Joke or what? Like, I mean. She... No, no, she did. I can explain that. She did this. Now, okay, this didn't come out. I voluntarily 
said this story to, to help give people some context. Yeah. Grace enthusiastically did this <laughs> because she was so tired of her mother insinuating that this was going on. So she was just like, okay, so let's just let's just play out your fantasy, which we had heard a number of times in which she admitted that she masturbated fantasizing about my daughter and me having coital sex, like full on penetrative sex. So uh, let's bring you up to speed on the Thorpes here. Um, you know, I think this is a situation we've all been in chat, really. I mean, honestly, every Thanksgiving, it's just something that happens. There you are eating dinner with your parents when your mom starts furiously masturbating at the thought of you having sex with your father and your dad's like, Jesus, let's give the bitch something to look at. And he pulls out a beer can, a beer bottle, sticks it in between his legs and he just kind of dangles it at you. He's like, dinner time. And you just, you run over there. You're eager because you love your mother. And you understand that's how Thanksgivings are celebrated. All right? This is this is normal behavior. <laughs> now, that was a very short snippet talking about sucking off beer bottles, but were other things getting sucked off? Well, let's let's listen to what the brother has to say. Okay. Now that she's gone, um I wanted to tell you guys that um as her brother I know that everybody's always questioning whether the allegations are true, even though it's pretty clear to most people um, who aren't idiots what the reality of the situation is. But um, my father uh, has sexually groomed my sister, and they have sex all the time. She gives him blowjobs all the time. Um, and they're currently together even though there's a no contact order in place. So this is the brother, my understanding, this is a brother, uh, confirming that more than beer bottles are getting sucked on, uh, that all the flirtatious, tee-hee, just trolling, just joking, isn't really just trolling, just joking, that uh, daddy and daughter are fucking like rabbits and uh, sucking and fucking nonstop. Nonstop sucking and fucking going on, according to the brother here. Let's, let's listen further. So if anybody knows where they are or any information like that, please let somebody or just call the police because they're not supposed to be together um, for reasons. Could you imagine if he's the one making that 911 call? How uncomfortable would that be? Hello, 911? Oh, my God, I need your help. My sister won't stop sucking my father's cock. Can you send SWAT immediately? Can you please? Oh, they're in the woods right now, and she is taking load after load, and I can't stop her. Oh, my God. I tried hitting her with a bat, and she won't take her mouth off his dick. I need emergency services. That makes sense. Like, one of them is that um, he kicked her on stream, and he's molested her many different ways. He's physically abusive person. He's terrible. Um I find him just a repulsive man. I'm ashamed that he's my father. Um, and it's a burden to be his son. Um, living life after Ben Thorpe is is difficult. Living life as a, just, you know, ha having him as your father is a really difficult struggle. So <laughs> oh, That's so fucking brutal. Jesus. I feel bad for this kid. I don't know. Again, I don't know much about uh, who he is or really the depth of the family dynamics. And I know I'm joking a lot about this and it's going to get darker as we go through. <laughs> but um, holy shit. Imagine how fucked up that is. Like you're sitting in your car recording this and you're, you're aware of everything that's going on, even though you might not have contact with the rest of your family because they live stream all of it. There's no way to escape it. Like fucking random strangers know who you are because of this shit. And they're like, dude, you're, are you, is your dad, your, your sister, are they fucking each other? Cause like I saw him get arrested three times. Like the pussy must be crazy. This guy's out in the wood in a camper van and he just won't fucking stop. And like, you gotta, and you're like, yeah. What's life like for that poor guy? Welcome to father's day. Happy father's day. Jesus fucking Christ. Look at the despair on his face. Oh, um, I hope that Grace can get out of it, but I've already gotten out of it, but it's still still just an endless struggle trying to, you know, recuperate myself. Um, 
Yeah, pretty much. That's the that's. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, my sister and dad are fucking, and uh, I want to slit my throat. <laughs> it's pretty dark, bros. It's pretty fucking dark over here. I don't know what to tell you guys. Holy shit. Now, I want to show you a little family dynamic, and I, I think we should kind of analyze this as we go through, because I think you'll pick up on what I picked up on when I started looking at these clips. Um, clearly from that first one, you know, after she gets mule kicked and she's like scratching her face and apologizing, you can figure there's some damage. There's some fucked up shit going on here. And then you hear the blowjob story where he's like, oh, she's sucking a beer bottle. And the brother's talking about they suck and fuck all the time. But then you look at the family dynamics. Now, where is the brother? What happened to the brother? Well, the brother got basically thrown into the wind. They tried to get him arrested. He's all crippled and shit. He had a broken leg. He's all busted up. I don't know why. Maybe he tried to <laughs> tried to stop the blowjobs in process. I don't know. But um, we're going to look over the footage, and you can kind of see, why would Daddy be playing favorites? Why would Daddy choose daughter over her son? Uh, well, I think you can figure that out already. And then we're going to see Mom, too. And it's just it's just wild how fucked up this is. But it's a, it's a little collage, the, the Thorpe family dynamic. Brother, yes, I will. Now, this is a brother and sister arguing. This is him in his apartment. Uh, off broken up from some injury or some shit. She comes up and again, live streaming everything. Start shit with them. Hey, Gracie, you're really. Uh, uh, what are you doing? You're really. I'll fun. enjoy. Get out of my apartment. Get out of my fucking apartment, bitch. Oh, get no. out of my apartment. Now I have physical get out. assault. You're not allowed. I have physical assault on video. Whatever you want to. I have physical assault on video. I have physical assault on oh video. Oh my god. Okay. Cool. Now I have physical assault on video. Do you think this is winning? This is not your you're apartment. Winning? I'm allowed up here. Get I'm on the lease. Here, Grace. I am out. on the lease. You're not allowed to be a. I am right on now. the lease. You physically assaulted okay, me, and this. I'm on the lease. Okay, get out of here. Oh, now you choked me. You just choked me. Did he just choke me? W, you're winning. You're winning. Do you notice? Okay, the first thing, chat. Do you notice the difference? Now, here he is, the brother, hobbling along, a fucking busted up leg, all injured from whatever the fuck's going on. And he's pushing her out. Get the, get the fuck out of here. And she wants to call the police. She's, uh, you know, fuck you, blah, blah, blah. Daddy mule kicks her. She breaks down into tears, and it's her fault. Brother pushes her to get her, you know, the fuck out of the apartment. She wants him arrested. I don't know. There's some weird fucking dynamics going on in these male relationships in this family. I'm thinking maybe she's closer to daddy than she is brother. Get out. He, you're you winning. W. Me. Look at him. Look at who cool guy. W. You're you winning. choked me. I'm on Get the out. lease. You're so Get so. Out. You are physically assaulting me when I'm on the lease to be up here you're in winning. this apartment. You're winning. Is that what you just you did? Won. You're winning. I'm gonna turn this into the police. Okay. And that's what we're going to do. You okay. physically assault physically me one assault. more time, and I will call the physically police. Physically assault. Yes. Fuck you. Get out. Fuck off, bitch. Oh. Fuck <laughs> you. Oh. <laughs> Why don't you go make food and then not clean it up again? You are going to be, uh, you're going to be evicted for that, and I'm going to press charges against you. You are? Yes. You are? What are you going to do? Fucking asshole. Fuck you! You deserve that so much! Fucking slob! Now that's Hope on video too. Fucking hell, Grace. He threw a shoe at my kittens. So, okay. So that first part, right, that's like the initial contact. I think this is at the family home and he's like in, above the garage or... I, I, don't, I don't know. The, again, you'd have to watch the very long form videos of this. I'm giving you the rough and dirty cut as we go through this. But you could tell. Brother's the odd man out, obviously. <laughs> he's not the one sucking beer bottles in between daddy's lap. And so Grace goes and fucks with him and uh, she's going to get him evicted. And uh, here he is with his dad, Ben, uh, who's 19 feet tall, kicking his cat or something. I don't know, but talking about his fears and trying to get the fuck out of there. And you'll see how this escalates into just insanity. Yeah, I was unaware the kittens were there. I told the police officers, I said, but honestly, the number one thing I don't, I am like, freaking out about right now is what's going on with the cats because he said he would, kill, he, said he would strangle them yeah. I, I do think he would drown them out of the room um like hobbled out of it and then i and then i went down the stairs I, I didn't even put shoes on i grabbed my car keys um i went to my car <laughs> i went to my car i had noise canceling headphones on that i put on um my sister standing behind my I see some people in chat saying, did he, did he really threaten to kill the cat? Was he really going to kill the cat? 
Um, I have it on good authority after investigating this that actually he called in a cat hit man by the name of Mersh who was going to catnap them and then uh, run a bunch of GoFundMes for them. <laughs> That's what happened to all the Thorpe cats. Ben gave them to Mersh and then Mersh ran GoFundMes on them. My car not letting me back out. My dad screaming at me from the right, the right window and my mom screaming at me from the left. <laughs> um, uh, and then they left. And I thought that it was the coast was clear for a little while at least. So, so here we here he's like narrating over this, right? So here's the fucked up part. And again, I tried to find this part. I, I couldn't get it really, but it is out there. Um, so he has this confrontation with his sister. Dad comes in, talks shit to him. Whole family's talking shit to him. We're gonna get you arrested. We're gonna get you evicted. So he's trying to like get out. This is him attempting to flee and take his kitties with him, and they won't let him. Watch the shit they do, like. It's crazy. I uh, took out the engine oil because my car has a, a, an oil leak still. And it just, I haven't been driving in or keeping up with the oil. So it's just leaked all out. So I had, I had to fill it up before I drive. I drove. Um, uh, <coughs> and then he also grabbed the, uh, the, the en- he tried to grab the, uh, the engine cap, the engine oil cap. Um, and I actually ended up screwing it on and getting, retrieving the engine oil that he stole. Um, then I slammed it and tried to get back in my car, but he was standing in front of my door blocking it. <laughs> um, I was incredibly uh, frightened that they were going to have the cops called on me because I touched him, which I, 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 up to this point I didn't, and I didn't touch him, and I was incredibly fearful of that happening because it just happened to me the day before. Um and they were taking videos the whole time and laughing. Like, imagine how fucked up this dynamic is. And it, it just watching this from the outside, how screwed up this, this this is. So you got your son is crippled for what? I don't know why. Maybe it was an accident. Who fucking knows? He's hobbling around on crutches, concerned about his cats. And he knows that his sister and father are fucking. His sister's screwing with him, trying to get him arrested and evicted. And his dad's getting physical with him. And so all he's trying to do is, like, escape. And they won't even let him get in his car. So they're going to try to make him walk in the rain. Hobble in the rain on his crutches, down the street in his socks. Your crippled son. Your crippled son you're going to force to walk down the street. Like, what the fuck, dude? Um, and then I walked away and tried to walk to the police station. But I realized that that wasn't going to really happen because I was wearing socks. And it was like, it's like rainy here. So, like, there's puddles everywhere. And it was fucking crazy. Um, then I went back to my car. <coughs> um, and at that point, I think he moved. So I was able to get in the driver's seat. But He's got that He's got that powered up Timmy trot. Timmy! You see him just hobbling his way over there. If I can get in the car, I can get the fuck out of here. Oh. But he blocked the door from shutting. <coughs> um, so what happened from there was uh, then. And so this is a part that got cut out. Um, it's very, it's like barely visible on the initial footage. I'm sure somebody has it. I wish they just put the unredacted fucking clip up. Uh, but Ben kicks the door on his broken leg. Like this kid's fucked up leg is halfway out the door and he, like, he starts kicking it. He starts kicking his crippled son. And then it picks up here where Grace decides to get it in the act. You know, the daughter gets in the act by like, <laughs> well just watch and then she got off after like 20 seconds of sitting on the hood of my car um to stand in front of it and uh threaten me to like knock her over <laughs> um and then i sped off and i was like questioning whether to go to the police station first but then i was like i don't i like i I'm fucked. I, I'm fucked. Yeah, like I'm. I'm fucked in every way. I there's no other. Like I. I, I don't want to waste policemen's time. But like. So, um, that's a brother's story, okay? Uh, crippled, thrown out of the house, assaulted, intimidated, uh, fleeing for his safety. Who fucking knows? Uh, what I do know is, and there's more footage out there, and you can find it in these long form videos if they're interest to you. Uh, but what I do know is it was like a race to the police station to see who could get footage to the cops first. Uh, but they tried to like nail him and then footage showed up because again, remember how Grace is always like, this is the funny part to me. The daughter is always like, I'm so sorry, daddy, but 
every time shit goes down, like she's the one that's put the evidence out there. It's very strange. It's like some subconscious thing. Like if he's if he really has been molesting her and he's been taking advantage of his daughter, like she's got some part of her primal brain that hates that. And so subconsciously she fucks him over as much as she can. So she films him when he breaks the no contact order. She films him when he assaults her. And she filmed when he assaulted her brother. And she's the one that releases it. She was the one that was showing the footage. And then she had to delete it because she fucked up and gave him evidence that he could bring to the police. Now here's mom. Oh, you know. Uh, three sheets to the wind. Streaming from downstairs. And let's let's look at the dynamic between mom and daughter. It's rolling. My ex, Hollywood Ben Thorpe. My ex, Hollywood Ben Thorpe, my ex Hollywood Ben Thorpe, my ex Hollywood Ben Thorpe. It's just like, it's just, it's coming. Ow! Fucking bitch. Get up. My screen. Okay. That was enough of that. Am I right? Daddy's mine now, bitch. Say goodbye. Daddy's all mine. Get out, mommy. <laughs> I've driven brother out, and I'm driving mommy out, and now daddy belongs to me. Sorry, daddy, got you arrested for the 15th fucking time. Oopsie doodles. <laughs> wow. Welcome to the Thorpe family, ladies and gentlemen. That's not even, there's so many clips. There's so many clips of crazy shit they've said and done, and it just goes on and on. But I, I, you know, I picked one last clip I wanted to finish out the Thorpe segment with for contestant number one. <laughs> For contestant number one. Oh, really? It's the only contestant. Come on, let's be honest here. Uh, it's just another, you know, let's, let's, I'm going to let it play. I'm not even going to comment. I'm going to let chat give me your opinion on this. Let's see what you think. And his mother sort of agreed with him. It's crazy. Totally crazy. Nothing to do with YouTube. Oh, yeah. Well, he found some, whatever, you know, this is when his mother was, I mean, this isn't really like YouTube, right? So, he went through, he was convinced of this somehow. I think his mother was telling him. So he went through his sister's phone and she sent me something, you know, a teenage girl will send something. Maybe it was a, maybe it was a, an emoji of a. I think uh, a plant phrase. It was, really hey, can you come up here and bring that big dick with you? And yeah, right. Plant emoji, emojis. Yeah. yeah. I have no memory. I don't know. Saying, I think I'm the most sexually normal guy in the world. I don't. I, 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 I was told now let's see. Oh, you know what chat? Let's take a poll. I'm not even going to put a poll poll up because I'll get banned off YouTube for putting this into words. Um, let's take a poll chat. He thinks he's the most sexually normal person in the world. What is his follow up statement going to be chat? What do you think that statement's going to be followed with when somebody, after what you've seen, what do you think the most sexually normal person in the world is going to say is sexually normal. What do you think is going to the fo the follow up of this going to be? Just I'm going to give you a minute to really ponder it, to really just consult your crystal balls, really give it a thinkaroo. <laughs> oh, I see some people. You're oh, you're hitting on it so hard you don't even know. Here we go. Here we go. You've had a moment to think on it. Let's check it out. I have a, someone who goes to my chat who's a 16 year old girl, and I was told like it's really really a problem. I was like, what would be the problem? I chat with her. I would meet her in person. I would tell a six-year-old girl that her dress looked pretty. Ben, Ben, Ben. I, I'm a pedophile in the Greek sense, Mike. Let oh, okay. Let's just back that up for a second. Just in case it slipped by. In the Greek sense. <laughs> Have you even read Locke? Listen, intellectually speaking. Intellectually speaking, I don't care if they're, I don't care what age they are. <laughs> he just jumps from, he just dropped a digit. Okay, that was pretty quick. Like in the span of four seconds, we dropped an entire digit. All right, a placement. We've moved. We've moved from sixteen to six. Girl, that her dress looked pretty. Ben, Ben, Ben. I, I'm a pedophile in the Greek sense, Mike. Lover of children. I love children, especially girls. Oh, ben, I think it was I love children, especially little girls. I think you oh, should be less ambiguous about that. And I like to, I guess you could call it flirting, flirt with little girls and say like, nope. how pretty they look. Nope. Nope. I don't like nope. that. That's I don't like thing. that. I don't <laughs> like that. Oh, I think that's your problem, guys. A normal man loves to flirt with a little girl and say, are you a little girl? Oh, you know, a normal man. A normal man. Hey, guys. It's totally normal. Can we go back to that original arrest footage? Or the assault, I'm sorry. And just get, just now that you've, you've listened to this, let's take a look at her reaction. 
and just see if that's any deep-seated fucking trauma uh, popping its head up. That's literally not why. <laughs> Father of the year, folks. Father of the year. Happy Father's Day. So, Ben Thorpe, arrested three times, breaks no contact order, has his own son come out and say that he's been fucking his daughter and having her suck his dick, admitted on stream to having her perform, uh, you know, uh, mock fellatio on beer bottles in his lap. We see that they drove the son out of the house, the mom uh, driven out of the house, the daughter's getting in cat fights with her. They're off in an RV in the fucking woods somewhere doing God knows what. Constantly, constantly flirting, constantly all this, putting out statements about how, you know, fuck it, you know, not just uh, 16 year old little girls, but six year olds, you know, the Greek sense of the word. That's a new one. I mean, I've not I've really ever heard anybody pull that out as like an, an argument. <laughs> no, you don't understand. Uh, it's in the Greek sense of it. Oh, okay. What, you speak a different language when you molest them? What does that mean? In the Greek sense of it. You offer the child a gyro when you when you commit sodomy? What, what do you mean? In the Greek sense of it. What, I, don't, I guess it's not computing for me. I'm having some difficulty understanding exactly what in the Greek sense of it means. I guess I'm not highly educated enough uh, to pull this one off, to figure it out. So, you know, we... We looked at the Ralph dad, right? You know, and Ralph's got his own issues, but boy, oh boy, <laughs> Ben, Ben, Ben takes the cake. And like, you need to understand that what I've shown you is fractional. It, it's minute. It's itty bitty, tiny, teeny weeny compared to the, uh, the trove, just the depth and breadth of shit that's out there of interviews and uh, live streams and shit that's been said just blatantly and openly. Now I'm, you know, I I've heard uh, some people say that, um, you know, he had a normal life and uh, was successful and had a decent job and decided he wanted to become like a YouTuber and everything went to shit. Like I don't know what the story is, and I know one of those three-hour documentaries would probably explain it. So if you want to see the dark side <laughs> of father-daughter relationships that is just out in the open on YouTube, everybody fucking seems to know about it. It's really weird. It's just out there. Just out there, now the cops are involved. Who knows where this goes? Uh, there you go. It's the Thorpe family. It's the Thorpe family. Now, we've been going for a little over an hour here, so we'll take our first little break. When we come back, we're going to we're gonna take a look at a, a more classic example of a daddy on the Internet. Uh, luckily, one that, uh, you know, isn't fucking his daughter, but beats her nonetheless. Got to have some of that abuse in there to make it a story that's relatable. So let me put on uh, a merchandise uh, video because I'm a whore. And we'll take a five-minute break, grab a drink. We'll come back, and we're going to continue on with contestant number two for Father of the Year. Or just the, the, the you know, the second person we're going to look at. It's a tale as old as time. It's an older one. The Thorps are the new shit. Okay, these this is this is like the recent past couple of years. The person we're going to be looking at, this is like 13, 14, 15 years ago. Uh, but it's a classic. It's an oldie. It's a goodie, though. So... Take five minute break. Everybody grab a drink. We're coming back. We're going full bore. Okay. Oh, we're back. We're back, Chet. Hopefully you had a, a chance to wash that taste out of your mouth. As we looked at Internet Daddy number one. <laughs> I'm getting, I'm getting, I, when I went to go get a, a a drink, when I went to, you know, just go do my thing for a second here. Uh, my wife was like, oh, she's, she's angry with you about the load thing, about the jokes you were making. Apparently, some of the Thorps are watching the stream a little bit upset. Listen, I'm not the one that shot nut down your throat, okay? That wasn't me. I didn't meal kick you, all right? It was not my dick playing tonsil hockey in your mouth, okay? Sorry. Sorry. Wasn't me. Wasn't Jimmy. Jimmy's a good boy. Jimmy didn't do it, all right? You might want to direct the anger at the ogre. Not at me. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Sorry if you got a little upset about that. <sighs> Jim, how can you say such cruel and mean things? Easily. 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 <laughs> Super easily. Okay. Uh, 
Well, now we're done. I'm done with the Thorps. So if the Thorps are still sniping, you know, watching, whatever. Uh, we've moved past your segment. You could stick around and watch what's coming up. I mean, that that's fine. But um, I, I don't know if it's going to interest you. It doesn't involve sucking beer bottles and shit out of people's crotches. But we'll see. Now, moving on. It's a little bit of a, a throwback. A little bit of a old, an oldie but a goodie. A little a slaughter action. And I'm talking about Sergeant Slaughter here. No G.I. Joe's. Talking about a very mad dad. It's going to backtrace some shit on the internet. Okay, this is Jimmy Slaughter. I just want to tell you guys that you ruined my life. My household has been torn. Ever since you guys start doing this, I haven't been able to do anything. Okay. And don't be saying suicide. I'm not. I'm saying I haven't been able to eat. I haven't been able to sleep. Well, guess what? And my daughter's not lying. And I'm not going to put up with any of you people's crap anymore. If you ain't got something nice to say about my daughter, then keep your mouth shut and any more of your comments to put on there, I'm recording them all and they are being sent to the police they department. Have been being and guess up. what? You were emails will be caught and will be found. And who said you're gonna beat my daughter up? You will have to deal with the police. Cause you done goofed. <laughs> you done goofed. So we've got a little girl here. You know? Yeah, it starts a little bit of shit over on Tumblr, if I remember right. God, it's been forever with the Jesse Slaughter shit. But she started some shit, ran her mouth quite a bit, got into a bunch of fight, uh, fights. A lot of people uh, uh, talked a lot of shit to her. And her dad decides to step in, telling everybody, you done goofed. You fucked up. You fucking with the wrong hombre. See, I haven't been able to eat or sleep or anything. I was just uh, shopping. I haven't been able to have a commercial break in a row. <laughs> no, me. Been hating over me. And whoever's making fun of me on Tumblr and shit. He's like such an asshole. Okay, you're good. Uh, and I apologize for the shit audio quality, but again, these videos are like 14 fucking years old. Like, fun. And I'm, uh, I'm terrible with audio and video processing anyway, so you just have to bear with it, but you'll get the gist of it. You know what? I'm just saying that you guys have ruined my life. I'm going to tell you right now, this is from her father, you bunch of lying, no good punks, and I know who it's coming from, because I've backtraced it, and I know who's emailing and who's doing it, and you've been reported to the cyber police and the state police, Ray, you better write one more thing, or screw with my computer again, you'll be arrested, end of conversation from her father. I gotta, I have to admit, okay, it's charming, right? When you first encounter this story, you've got this little girl that runs her mouth and gets into a bunch of shit online, and here comes dad, he's completely computer illiterate, consequences will never be the same, he's gonna backtrace that cyber police, you've got all these great fucking quotes, but really you're like, oh, that's kind of sweet, right? It's an old man, he's stepping in there, you know, he's defending his daughter, it's embarrassing, I'm sure, she's mortified, um, you know, he looks foolish, but you know, it's a dad, he loves his kid. You know, he's going he's gonna to teach those pricks online a lesson. He's you're not going to fuck with my kid. Fuck you. I'm going to backtrace you. He doesn't know what to say. He doesn't know how to fight it. He's completely, completely inept when it comes to dealing with the internet. But he's still putting his foot forward to really to do the right thing. What a great dad. Because nobody hurts his daughter except for him. Uh, Jesse Slaughter, dad charged with child abuse. <laughs> The father of a Florida 7th grader who profanity-laced video prompted online death threats last year has been arrested for allegedly assaulting his daughter. Gene Leonard, 53, was charged by police in Malton County, Florida with child abuse in the incidents which occurred last month. According to the police report, first reported on the Smoking Gun website, the girl said she had been arguing with her father when he punched her, causing her to have a bloody and swollen lip. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Danny. Don't you dare touch my daughter, my little pumpkin. I love my little girl. Anybody that threatens her, I'm going to kick their ass. By the way, I'm going to go beat my little girl. I'm going to hit her real hard. I'm going to smack the shit out of her. Nobody touches my daughter but me. Honey, get the belt. <laughs> I backtrace those trolls. It's time to beat our daughter. Now, funny enough, 
uh, there's actually, I believe this is audio of the beating itself. Um, I, <laughs> why, why would, let's, let's listen in to dad and daughter having a, a heart to heart conversation. Investigate, I might go to jail tomorrow. I know that. Would you? Mom, bitch, 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 bitch. It's like I wasn't even on the left hand. Thank you. Goodbye. Shut up. He's screaming so loud he's peeking the microphone in the background. She's sitting at like a laptop. He is screaming so loud he has fucked the audio. Like that's a primal scream. Like he must have he man punched her through the wall. Ah! Can you ever shut up? Why does your mouth have to run? Don't unplug that computer. You're such a fucking mouth. Don't tell me come back tomorrow and I might give up. Now, did you hear that? Let's back it up. Let's back that up. Don't unplug that computer. You're such a fucking mouth. That right there. Don't touch that computer. Smack. Let's hear it one more time. Don't unplug that computer! You're such a fucking mouth! Don't tell me come back tomorrow and I might give a fuck! Jessica, I don't trust anybody! 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 Especially your friends! <laughs> you can tell them all that on the internet! They're a bunch of untrustworthy little bitch brats! I mean, Dad kind of was right, because this audio got recorded and put up by her bitch brat friends. <laughs> I don't trust anybody, not even myself. And they lie about their ages and they blow up off the internet. Um, Every one of them Dad, is liars! Dad, she is 12. Lie! Lie! Um, I talked to her mom. Do you want to talk to her mom? Do you want to talk to Chelsea's mom? I'm just saying, you think well, why I... Why was your whip camera on? Because I was trying to adjust the settings to get it off. I'm trying to get it so that it will only show a picture. Yes, that? I do. Yeah, how do you? Why you're still on the internet? If you realize you'd be off of it right now. Yeah. Okay. What do you mean? Yeah. Okay, Jessica. The internet's what's got us where we are. Shut up, Diane. He's fucking screaming at everybody. He's screaming at his daughter because now he feels like an ass because I'm sure every troll and A-log back in the day was fucking with him. And then he's screaming at his wife who's yelling at him for yelling at his daughter. Why do you want to lose your daughter? Why do you want to lose her? Why do you want to lose your daughter? That's just your mouth. It is off, mother. Jessica, they're all a bunch of bullshit. Chelsea isn't. You can talk to her now. Oh, God, I love recording this shit. Really? You want me to call Chelsea right now? No, Jessica, the cops are watching the internet right now. They're watching me sit here with yes. a picture, and that's it. Jessica, they are watching every word you're saying, and you keep typing. Stop typing. I just typed dot, 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 and then well, I typed a frowny them. face. Tell everyone you can't talk anymore. You are being thoroughly investigated. Okay. Well, you need to see, you realize just now how serious this sexual condition is. <laughs> she done goofed. Oh my god. Could it get any worse? So, so she causes a shitstorm by running her mouth and gets everybody to make fun of her. Dad steps in and is then driven into a violent rage by her constantly going on the internet. And he assaults her and he gets arrested. How much worse could it get? Oh, I know. How about he dies? How about he's dead? How about she literally, she literally drove him to death? <laughs> what kind of... <laughs> this is his uh, fucking obituary from Boing Boing. Gene Leonard, you done goofed dad dead at 53. Oh. Oopsie. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh 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 am I having a little am I having a little connectivity issue here? Hold on, chat, one second, and things froze up on me. I've got to restart something.
hopefully this keeps going. And everything didn't just go to shit on me. But it might have. I'm just going to keep talking and pretending like it's working. And then hope that everything hasn't gone to shit on me. Because <laughs> it would really suck if it did. Uh-oh. Oh, you got to be kidding me. I think I got disconnected. Oh, nope, there we go. I see people typing F in chat, but I think I think we're still good. I think we're still good. All good. Okay. All good. Somebody said no sound. Let me just double check that. Got technical issues. Got storms over here. Everything's going to shit. Oh, let's see if it's working. If you're just fucking with me. Oh, no, we're good. Okay, we're good. All right. I'll just continue where I left off, which was talking about how this girl drove this man to death. <laughs> and his fucking obituary is a Boing Boing article. Gene Leonard, you done goof dad dead at 53. And that's good. You know, I tried to look at, like, a source for this. I was like, is this just bullshit? And there's, like, a screen cap of, like, a Facebook post talking about how he's dead. And then, like, a Boing Boing article in a live journal with a dead cache to a mortuary site. And that's it. That's all there is. That's that's literally all there is. I just, it, it, that moves so fast. Life comes at you quick, I guess. One minute your daughter's acting like a, a retard on the internet, and then the next thing you're driven into a violent rage, and then you have a heart attack because the violent rage has literally pushed you to your limit. All within the span of, like, months. I, I, I know people are familiar with Jesse Slaughter. I know a lot of you have probably seen clips of the I'm going to back trace it, you done goof, the consequences will never be the same. You probably maybe didn't know that he's dead. <laughs> he literally keeled over. His daughter literally made him keel over. Now, she went on to do some weird shit. She was like trying to date some dude from some shitty emo goth band when she was like a young teen. And he's like in his 20s. And then I think she transitioned and he's a he now. I, I don't know. Like the whole Jesse Slaughter story is fucking weird to the very end. But the dad part of it, you know, the father part of it starts off as like this kind of folksy hero kind of guy of you can't fuck with my daughter. And then next thing you know, he's beating her. <laughs> There's shit getting dropped to him, just beating the shit out of her. Oh, Father's Day. Everybody loves it. You know, now might be a good time to take a very small break and read a few. Read a few of the uh, Ko-Fi things that have come through and a few of the... Um, Cash app things that have come through before we move on to the next segment, which I like to call, by the way, I, I named the next segment fatherless. We've seen what it's like when you've got dad of the year. Let's see what it's like when dad of the year ain't there. I think you're going to enjoy it. I literally, one of these is titled poop trouble. <laughs> oh, oh, can't leave. I mean, it's father's day, but you can't forget about the single moms folks. And what better way to celebrate than with a video called poop trouble. Uh, from Kex and Hex. Uh, Jim, I know you're sorry that our dads were just dudes that plowed our moms in the back of a Prius. Anything exciting on the health front? Uh, don't. Still fucking awful. Still fucking awful. From Phantom. Jimmy, doing the support on the family, does it make you feel, uh, does it make you the godfather? Uh, are you talking about the Thorps? No, I don't want to be the godfather in that family. Uh, Kevin says, uh, Kevin Ash in Summer of 92 says, I may have missed it, uh, but what do you think about people saying they were Kata's 16-year-old son? should have stepped up so that his parents continue their lifestyle. I think that sounds pretty fucking stupid to dump all your responsibilities on a teenager. I mean, teenagers are, of course, uh, completely capable of taking care of themselves. You know, you're 16 years old. You can probably do the majority of shit you need to do. Uh, but trying to put all the responsibilities of a household on a 16-year-old? Uh, that sounds pretty fucking sketchy to me. Should the son sacrifice his childhood so, what, mom and dad can sort some coke? No, I wouldn't agree with that at all. <laughs> nah, that boy's the one that should have been feeding them SpaghettiOs, not Aaron. It's kind of, it's just a dumb argument. Uh, from Jenks, trolling Jesse Slaughter back in the day was great. Spamming low orbit ion cannon on her IP, sending pizza to her address, spamming tags on her Tumblr. It was great. Yeah, it's very old internet. It's like 14, God, 15 years old. I mean, it's been, it's been forever. That was fucking forever ago. From, uh, Tav Nazan, which I butchered your name. I know I did. Jimbo, you have to close the stream with the Back Traced It song. I will look it up. I'll see if I can find it. Zero Sketch. Check out the demo for Proprieta? 
90s graphics. I'm not sure if that's a game or if it's like a desktop. Was that a browser? What, what is that? E is for elbow. Uh, e is for elbow smash. I already bought a hat for my hat's hat. So take this tip and set. Happy Father's Day. Well, thank you very much. Oh, big money from Phantasm. Glad you're alive, Dad. Happy Father's Day. I'm almost glad that you take too long to get milk and not make us suck on the canoa bottle. <laughs> what a weird thing to admit. Who does that? Why would you go on stream and tell people that you make your daughter suck a beer bottle in your lap? Uh, how are people supposed to take that? Especially with your son running around telling everybody that she's sucking your cock. And then you go talk about the Greek way. Uh, just, just foolishness. <laughs> Hiding in a van in the fucking forest. <laughs> what the fuck? From Gav. Hey, Jim. Thanks for the stream, buddy. While wow, this Thorpe stuff is dark. Oh, it is. Uh, there's a lot more dark shit out there, too. Believe me. All right, I read a few of the Kofi. I'll get to everybody's too at the end of the stream, but try to bounce between the two. I've got some Cash App ones here. Let me read some of these. And then we'll get back to the fatherless portion. Guess why wouldn't we? Uh, from Sig, uh, we need some uh, Gary Plotch energy. That's what he's saying out there. From Matt, we need some... Why? Oh, no, that's, that was very strange. From Matt. Uh, love you, Jimbo. God bless. Well, God bless you as well. We got a 1488 here from Owen. Uh, thanks, Jim. Uh, well, you're very welcome. You're very welcome from Ryan Wolf. For a stalker child, enjoy freedom. I will. I've got my pepperoni sitting right next to me. It's delicious. I'm enjoying it quite a bit. From uh, Jalen. Uh, could we get an NNRU, Daddy Jimbo? Oh, well, if we were on Odyssey, we could. Over here, I don't know. I mean, I know Susan's out of the picture, but God knows what they're doing over here. From uh, Danny. Uh, Jimco, happy Father's Day to Topher. Love you, Jim. Oh, thank you very much. I'll read one more here. And then uh, we'll jump back in. From uh, Mark, here's a tenor, Jimbo. God bless you and Jade. Well, thank you very much. Now, chat. We've got a few things to go through in our fatherless portion of this. Again, I, I know, it's fun. It's fun to look at the goofy shit, you know, the goofy dads. You know, we got, you know, Gene there, who's dead, driven, driven to death by rage. And Ben, who is, I, I, it's amazing how many times he gets out of jail. Really, I've got to give him some credit for it. He's a very slippery motherfucker. <laughs> Arrested three times out the next day each time. I just, it's kind of, it's kind of stunning. Oh, yeah, yeah we got that. Uh, we looked at the Ralph dad a little bit. Obviously, that yeah, speaks for itself. Uh, but now, let's, let's look at, uh, let's look at the dad's not here or dad's not active portion of the stream <laughs> i selected a few these are clips you're probably familiar with but they're fun and they're classic and we're going to look at them and i'll let you you know i'm going to save which one do we want to start with you know i'm going to start with nathan uh, we've done this one before over on odyssey i believe but maybe some of you aren't familiar with it and i just want to show you what the effect of <laughs> you know what this kid this kid gets recorded in one of the most embarrassing moments you can imagine and I am fucking dead certain that he hates his mother because of it. Like, it's it's just permanent. Like, there's no unfucking this. Like, this kid, this, like, a, a switch got flipped. You know what I mean? Like, he can't go back to liking or loving her ever again because of the embarrassment of this, what you're about to hear. And from that point onward, um, it becomes a vicious back and forth between a single mother and her son. And because dad is out of the picture. I believe dad divorced mom and got the fuck out of there. So let's let's jump into this household of the Roblox kid. You listen. It's a virus. Listen, Harris, and I'm sorry, but I need to, you. I have to have your dad talk to you about this because mom's not very good about no, it. No, mom. I, it's, listen, mom. I was searching I around. I was searching around Show the. Me. I was searching Why around. Why are you playing with yourself? What a horrible. Horrible question to ask your son, by the way. If there are any mothers watching this, never ever utter that phrase to a boy. Why were you... Why... Nathan! Nathan! Why were you touching your telly wacky Nathan? Why were you touching your little telly wacky Nathan? Why were you looking mommy in the eyes and telling her why you were playing with your penis, Nathan? I was searching around the Nathan. internet. Oh my gosh. Okay. No, I, I, I was searching around the, oh, mom, geez. mom, I was searching around the internet, and all of a sudden, I, I was downloading this thing, and I oh, got a computer virus. Me. I want to see it. 
You show me what you were down. You show me Nathan. Nathan, you show mommy what smut you were looking. Look mommy in the eyes, Nathan. Now you show mommy the pornography. Loading. I ran away. I already no, show it to I me. deleted the virus. No, you did not. I have to have your dad go through all the. I got scared because I deleted the virus and I. No, you're embarrassed. No, mom, for Nathan, real. You don't listen to me. You don't. Holy shit, yeah, no shit he's embarrassed. He's he's in the middle of a multiplayer match. He's in the middle of a multiplayer match. You caught him with his pants down, and you won't stop. Yes, he's embarrassed. What is, why are you so horrible? What did he do to you to deserve this? Talk about childhood trauma. Oh, God. I didn't. My parents. Oh, my God. You don't get it, do you, Mom? Mom, you don't get it at all. I did it. <laughs> oh, oh, it's that special age, isn't it? It's that special age for this woman, where her kid is technically becoming a teenager, but she thinks of him as a little boy, so she can't call it a dick or a penis. So she just sings songs it out and says, "Playing with your ding dong, playing with your little tally wacky ding dong. Who's it, Hazel?" Oh, you're flogging the wazzles. Just this sing-song baby talk shit as this kid just got caught jacking off. Slipped off! Yeah, they did! Oh my god, Mom. I had a computer virus, and I got scared that I had the virus. And when I was getting out of my chair, my pants were slipping, and I was pulling them up and getting back on the chair. Mom, I, it was a virus! God, Mom, you're so technically illiterate. All right? Obviously, you don't understand how operating systems function. Fuck! <laughs> Viruses constantly scare pants off people. That's why they're terrifying. Nobody wants to be nude, Mom. Don't you understand? Bitch, you're still using Vast as a browser. You're like 90 years old. Get with the times, you old bitch. Now, she could just let this go, right? Okay, let's be real here. If you're a parent, you've walked in on your child, and you've caught them doing something embarrassing. Now, you've really, you've got like two choices. Let's be honest here. You could be, well, you've got three choices. You could choose the wrong option, which is what she's doing, by continuing this conversation and clearly mortifying the fuck out of him. The other option, the better option, just let it go. Just let it go. If you want to have him have the birds and the bees talk with dad later on, then have dad do that. But don't constantly dredge it up and humiliate him. Uh, the third the third option I like to call the wild card option is you just start applauding. <laughs> you walk in on your kid. You've got them masturbating. They're freaking out, pulling their pants up. You just start clapping. You just clap. That's all you do. You don't say a fucking word. You just clap and you walk out of the room. That's it. Nothing. You never speak of it again. Think of the memory that leaves with them. How what? How do they even comprehend what just happened? That's the funny option. But she goes with the worst one. No, Mom! I'm serious! I am serious! I'm serious! I had a virus! And you're annoying. Okay, here we go. So there, the thing with this kid is his friends record him all the time or he's recording himself all the time. So that was the initial mom fight. It's a snippet of it. But this is where it turns. Okay. <laughs> this is where the single mom nightmare begins. Because um, he is pissed and he wants blood. All right. 
She has fucking humiliated him in the most thorough way you can humiliate a young boy on the verge of puberty. And the the emotional, psychological damage is just, is mind-fucked him. And he wants fucking blood. So it's war. Little Roblox Nathan is going, Awesome Nader, I think his name is, he's going to fucking war, boys. All right, strap in, boots on, we're talking trench fucking warfare against mommy. Listen to this shit. This kid drops bombs on her. Talking to me like that because I'm telling dad. I'm going to talk to dad about Yeah, is dad your father? No, he's your father and he's not going to be too happy. Then why do you act like he's yours? Nathan. Smarten up and go to bed. You have to get up. I already am smart. I'm going to fifth grade. No, you're not. Because you know what? You don't listen to Oh, uh, yeah, I am. You're not... No, you're not smartening up because you don't listen to your mother. Who are Let's you, go. Mrs. Government? Let's go, please. Fucking boom, headshot, bitch. What are you, the government? Huh, Mom? I'm going to the fifth grade, bitch. You can't stop me. What, you think you Donald Trump or some shit? Huh, Joe Biden? What you gonna do? What you gonna do, bitch? I'm going to the fifth grade. Nathan, I said to shut it off. Why don't you listen to me? Why do you act like Mrs. President? I said to get off! I'm getting so sick of this every night! Well, get on my face and I'll shut it off! Gee! Well, jeez, I say it nicely. Nathan, please. How many times have I called to you? How's every that, single night! How's that nice of you? Hey, don't this crap with you! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I hear signs of physical... Are we noticing a theme, by the way, chat? <laughs> <laughs> this Father's Day, every kid's getting hit. Oh, oh, mommy, mommy tried the. Uh, let's talk it out. Let's talk about your little tallywhacker dig dong. He tells her, "Hey, Miss Government, fuck yourself." All of a sudden, here come the slaps. On my face, and I'll shut it off. Gee, well, geez, I say it nicely, Nathan. Please, how many times have I called to you how's every that, single night? How's that nice of you? Hey, don't pick this crap with you. I want you out. Uh -huh. I want you out. I want... She's going to throw her fucking 10-year-old into the street because he said I've had enough of your shit, Mrs. Government. <laughs> now I'm not shutting it off. Cause yeah, you will. Fine, God. Is this what you want? Is this how I have to respond to you? I don't Nathan, know. I you... talk to you and I... Go talk... to your child support right now. I'm done. I'm done. Call child support. I need... <laughs> I know he's he's not talking about child protective services, but he's like, call child support. And this Mrs. Government smack me. Call child support, bitch. We're going to war. And hurt you. You hurt me every time you don't listen to me. Do you understand me? Child support phone number. Nathan, don't you dare. I will. You will never have a mother again. That's your fault. Oh, roasted. Oh, this bitch got cooked. Oh, call Gordon Ramsay up. That's some well done shit. Oh, you're never going to have a mommy again. That's your fault, bitch. Oh, Miss Government, you're not so cocky now, are you? Get child support on the line. I'm serving your ass. Well done. You don't do that to me. Hit your song with a complete, like a complete douchebag. Watch what You know happens. what, Nathan? Start listening. Okay? That's being a douche. That's the only solution, Hanny! No, it's not. Then what? don't do it! Do you know what? <laughs> You're fucking violent, Mom. What's your fucking problem? No wonder Dad left you. Hidden people. Huh? Huh? You're more violent with me than I was with my ding-dong, bitch! And maybe Mom won't have to respond like that. Well, you know what? You're, now I see you're a bad you... mother. You're a bad mother. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. Well, you're a bad son because you don't listen. Go ahead. Tell me what you want to say. It's not going to offend me because you're... Well, it's not going to affect me either because I'm sick of this. I'm sick of listen you. to me. Get out of my face. Go to bed. Now I know why your father actually... Well, you know what? Not. If you're going to be a complete douche like that, then I won't shut don't it down. talk to me like that. I gave you life. And you treat the me only like thing crap. The only thing you're trying to specifically give me right now is a bunch of bruises because you don't know how to parent properly no, for crap. <laughs> oh, he's fucking roasted her ass. I gave you life. No, you gave me a concussion. <laughs>
<laughs> you gave me a concussion. I'm living with Dad now. It's not true. It is true. Nathan, I asked you, please go to bed. You have to get up in the morning. I yes, yeah, hitting me in the head a million times yeah, asking. Okay. Get the heck out of my room. You know what, Nathan? I asked, I didn't hit you when I asked you. I said it, Nathan. I called to you since 1030. Actually, 20 after. Yeah, and you said I can stay on. No, I said I want you off by 10. No, you, you should really watch. keep your words because you said I can stay on for no. a little bit longer. And I you said don't at... keep causing bull crap. You know, I bet she's the type of chick that brings her kid into counseling and is like, he's got oppositional defiance disorder or something like that. Like, he doesn't listen to me. You know, but she never explains the backstory of how she humiliated him by catching him masturbating and talking about his ding dong in front of everybody on the internet and just humiliating him and then uh, smacking him around. You know, she forgets to bring that up. He's the problem. But you could tell he's ready for war. This kid's not fucking around anymore. He's calling child support. <laughs> Nathan, I said at 10 o'clock, please get off so you can go to bed and watch a show. And then he said I can stay up longer. So bull no, crap. No, didn't. Bull crap. You know what? Stop talking to me like that. Your friends act better than you. Cool. I don't care. Go to bed now. You better listen. No, because he kept hitting me. Nathan? You can again? No. Because then go to bed. God, you're annoying. I don't like you either. You're a bad mother! You're a bad mother! You're a bad mother! You're a bad mother! Hey everyone! My mom thinks hitting is the only solution! <laughs> what a giga chat! Now imagine this, he's doing this with his window wide open. Imagine he walked over to the window and opened it fully so every neighbor could hear him for like three blocks around. And he's got his head tilted out the window and he's doing it. And he's just staring at the doorway waiting for her to run back up in her robe. He's like, yeah, come on. Come on, we're not done yet. Yeah, well, catch me masturbating, will you? Okay, well, let's see what the neighborhood thinks. Final stop! Come on! That's enough! Well, it's true. Go to bed. You don't holler like that. Think it's you think it's such a big deal about me not going to bed at stupid ten thirty. It's such a big deal that you hit your own son. You shouldn't even be hitting your son in the first place. Terrible mother you are. I don't mean to do that. But next time If you don't mean to do it, then don't do it all. Then listen to me. Stop making Well you know what? Even if I didn't listen times, even if I didn't listen, you shouldn't be the douchebag who hits the wrong son. Telling me that. Well, yeah. Well, You're the douchebag, son, well, that can't go to bed when well, he's you know told. What? He's, this is victory. That was the moment of victory, folks. If you're a parent and you're arguing with your child and they call you some silly name like a douchebag and your only response is to get so frustrated and ass hurt that you're like, nah, -uh, you're the douchebag. She lost. That's it. Game, set, match. This young man, Giga Chad Awesome Nader, has thoroughly dominated her. She is just a tizzy. She doesn't know what to do anymore. He's calling child support. She's all fucked up. If you're going to have a problem with being called those names, then then you're going to have... They're not going to start calling you that. Then that's your that. problem because you're the person that even brought it up. Well, they're not going to start calling you that because you call me that. And that makes I you... Even, you like that. And that makes you even more of one. Well, that makes you more of one, too. It goes both ways. <laughs> God, listen to her voice. She's reverted to playground mentality. Do you hear that? I guess that means you're a piece of shit. I just, this kid has fucked this woman up hard in under five minutes. I told you, he wanted blood. Ha ha, you're... Go to bed. Ha uh, you're a douchebag. Nathan? Yeah, you said you're gonna call me one. Call me one. I'm not gonna be Go offended. To I'm done. No, I'm not offended. I'm not offended. No, I'm not offended by you. Go to bed. I've had it. Yeah, you. sure you're not. If you're not offended, then why are you crying like a little baby? I'm not even crying. Yeah, what's up, Miss Government? Why are you sobbing like a bitch, douchebag? <laughs> why are you crying, Mom? Let me open this window up and tell the neighbors about how abusive you are, douchebag. You were. You're like, Ew, why don't you respect me? <laughs> Showing me any respect. Now, well, you know what? Well, you know what? You don't need respect if you're gonna be hitting your son, 
physically hitting your son, Clay, you're and claiming you're gonna call them names like that. I so, don't do that. So basically, you don't even deserve the stuff that you want. Nathan, what is your problem? What is your problem? If you're pissed because Dad and I aren't together, I'm, you're not gonna take it out on me. I don't care anymore. Is that your problem? No. The problem is that you're a bad parent. Oh, fucking savage as fuck. Oh, oh, savage. Well, mother, let me tell you what the real problem is. About a, two weeks ago, while I was masturbating in the privacy of my own room, you kicked the door open and called my penis a ding-dong. And then you wouldn't shut the fuck up about it. And now we're going to war, mother. No, I'm not, Nathan. The one you just... Oh, really? The what are... the heck was that crap? Like, I'm tired of you. This is my home. What was that not crap the past 20 minutes You don't ago. raise your voice to me. Ever. You're, You're going to start showing respect well, to me. Well, guess who's raising their voice, too. Go to bed now. I asked you too many times. I'm going well, to bed yeah. way well, too late. So I have to go to bed in five hours. So don't you. Go yeah. to bed. Okay. So You're... first of all, if you actually want me to go to bed, then why do you keep bringing up a bunch of bull crap? Go to bed, please. I can't if you're bringing up bull crap. You should realize that by now. I don't see you going. Yeah, and I don't see you leaving, so I actually can do that specific task. Stop yelling. Do you understand me? I'm not yelling. You're the one being a you're mental yelling. retard. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, can you stop being so fucking retarded? I thought you were a little slow, you know, a little water-brained earlier because you didn't understand how those computer viruses worked, but apparently you don't know how to walk out a fucking doorway, Miss Government. Oh, God. You're gonna regret yeah, and one of these days, you're not going to have me. So same thing goes with you. You want me to tell you something, Mom? The funny thing is, is that you already lost yours. Let's go to bed. I don't even care if you, you wake me up early. Want to get again? Because that is how I have to respond to you. Is that what you want for uh, me to hit you? I don't you? know. Do you want me to call child support? <laughs> what a great idea. Oh, God, I love how smug he sounded at the end of that one. You want me to smack you again? I don't know. You want me to call child support? <laughs> He's gonna, he is going to hold that over her ass for years. That is a fantastic example of a child who's decided they want total Von Clausewitz style fucking warfare with their single mother. <laughs> she's at a loss. Like, she doesn't get it. She doesn't understand why he's so pissed off when it's pretty fucking obvious what's made him that mad. Is this because I'm not with your daddy anymore? No. It's because you, uh, embarrassed me, humiliated me about that masturbation thing, and now I have to destroy you. <laughs> I have to take you apart piece by piece. Piece by piece, Mom. Piece by piece. Until there's nothing left. Until they send child support to the house. And that's how it's going to end, Mom. <laughs> oh. What is it with kids playing video games and getting into arguments with their mothers? Here's another classic one. Maybe you've seen it. Maybe you haven't. It's called, I've titled it, Poop Trouble. Uh, it's pretty fantastic. This is uh, an amazing clip. A little different than the Roblox kid. A little bit of a different situation. Now, maybe if Dad was in the house, he would take a belt to this kid. But Mom, Mom is going to try to talk him into it. Let's see what she wants to talk him into. I present to you Poop Trouble. Oh, Demetrius, get off the game, go to the bathroom, and take a shit. Now. Hey. Bathroom and shit now. Go to the bathroom and take a shit. <laughs> uh, hey, go get, to the bathroom. Get out. Go <laughs> to the bathroom. I can smell you shitting yourself. Get up and go to the bathroom. Now. No. no. Yeah. Get no. up and go to no. the bathroom. Not yet. What the hell? Go to the bathroom. You're shitting yourself. Not yet. What the hell? Go to the bathroom. <laughs> no. Oh, oh. Oh, no, I got achievement points, Mom. No, no. I got I to gotta finish the mission. I can't poop right now. Hey, Mom, come on, fuck up. Bathroom, you're shitting yourself. Not yet, no. I will rip no. everything apart. I swear to God. Go to the bathroom! Not yet. You're no. shitting yourself! Not yet. 
You're shitting yourself. Poop is coming out of your hey. fucking asshole. No, Go no. to the bathroom. No, yeah. Go. <laughs> no, yeah. No. Go to the goddamn bathroom. No. <laughs> what? Oh, you walk by. He's playing Mafia Three, which is a shit game to begin with. Playing Mafia Three, just defecating on himself. He's so into this game, he's just can't constantly taking a, a just a big old deuce. Mom's trying to drag his teenage ass out of there. Oh, I don't want to go. No, pee pee poo poo, mama. No. Oh. She's got to like put a little trail attendees. Go into the bathroom, you know, like circle the toilet bowl with some chicken tenders from McDonald's, maybe, you know, lure them in. You know, trick them. You got to try to trap them like a deadfall trap with tendies. I don't know. How do you get your son to not shit himself? <laughs> oh, it's a great, oh, you know, it's such a short clip. I just, I want to play it again. I want to listen to it again. <laughs> oh, God, I love the internet. Oh. Demetrius, get off the game, go to the bathroom, and take a shit. Now. Hey. Bathroom and shit now. Go to the bathroom and take a shit. I like how dedicated he is. Because, like, she's yelling at him to take a poop and probably trying to, like, peel him off the chair. But he's still playing. Notice the gameplay footage doesn't stop. I can smell you. Get uh, off. Hey, go get to the bathroom. Get out. Go to the bathroom. I can smell you shitting yourself. Get up and go to the bathroom! Now! No! no, no, no. Get no. up and go! To no. the bathroom! Uh, yeah, what the hell? Go to the bathroom! You're shitting yourself! Like, what was he saving it up for? I'm kind of curious, like, what he says, not yet. Is it, is it like a designated pooping time? Like, what is... What, <laughs> what, has he got it marked on a calendar? Is there a little alarm clock? Like, Demetrius poo time? Like, has he got that all set up and squared away? Mom doesn't understand? Like, Mom, come on. Not yet. It's not poop time yet. Not yet. What the hell? Go to the bathroom. You're shitting yourself. Not yet. No. I will rip no. everything apart. I swear to God. Go to the bathroom! Not yet. You're no. shitting yourself! Not yet. You're shitting yourself. Poop <laughs> is coming out of your hey. fucking asshole. No, Go no. to the bathroom! And this raises another interesting question. Now, clearly she probably smells it, but if she could see shit coming out of his asshole, I'm imagining an autistic 17-year-old completely naked in a gamer chair, squatted over it, defecating wildly, <laughs> defecating wildly as he is engrossed in Mafia 3. Can you imagine the sight? Not yet. What the hell? Go! Not yet. No. Go to the goddamn bathroom. Not, Not yet. No. It's poop trouble. <laughs> oh. Single moms out there having some trouble. Trying to tar wrangle her son. Can't get it happening. It's not happening. Of course, we have another bit of mommy rage here. Another one that involves a little bit of slapping. Another let's player. Doesn't involve pooping, not poop trouble. What a piece of shit. Oh, look. He did it again. No. Fucking, why do people tell me to fucking take a break when I'm doing good at games? You fucking shut your whore bag piece of shit cock sucking mouth. Is what you fucking, I need to restart again. Because... Oh, do you remember these days, folks? Do uh, you remember when YouTube used to be like this back in the angry video game phase? Where everybody wanted to be the AVGN so they'd throw in 18 cuss words in between every sentence? Just, just for no reason? Oh, the good old days. I need, I lost too many lives. I hit the continue button. I hit the continue button. I need to not hit the continue button. I need to game over first so I can actually continue from the start of the level. Okay! Don't you fucking raise your voice to me. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Just from out of nowhere. It's like a primal tard yell. Oh, you got to be careful with these boys in their video games. All right, Awesomenator will, evis you know, like eviscerate you with his his logic, misgovernment. But these other guys, they're either too busy pooping or they go into full tard rage. 
just out of nowhere. I need a game over first so I can actually continue from the start of level. Mm -hmm. Okay! Don't you fucking raise your voice to me. What the fuck is wrong with you? Slap it! Do it! Do it! What is wrong with you? Do it! What is wrong with you? Do it! You want me to fucking slap you? I will. Do it! And this is why I don't play Rayman. All right, it leads to domestic violence. <laughs> this is why I refuse to play Rayman. All right, it always leads to somebody getting slapped. I'm back it up. You can listen. It's the effects of playing this fucking game. Don't you fucking raise your voice to me. What the fuck is wrong with you? Slap me. Do it. Do it. What is wrong with you? Do it. What is wrong with you? Do it. You want me to fucking slap you? I will. Do it. I don't Get care. Fuck it off. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Fuck. Oh, here comes the turkey noise. <laughs> Fuck. Lot of fucking nerve. Lot of fucking nerve. Never raise your voice to me again. Can you understand? Yep. Yeah. Oh, fucking... oh, damn, stop it. <laughs> oh, God. I, I don't know what happened. Like, okay, so did he hit her or did she hit him? But somewhere in there... A fucking turkey got loose. Lot of fucking nerve. Never raise your voice to me again. Can you understand? Yep. Yeah. Oh, no. oh, oh, damn, stop it. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> and that's the second dad shows up. That's also the best part of it. Like, they're screaming like tards at each other. Second dad hears turkey noises. He's fucking off the couch. God damn it, stop it. Hold stop on, it. hold on, hold on. I need, a, I need to stop the stream. I need to stop my stream, right? I need to turn off my stream. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Son, you hit your mom so hard she made a turkey noise. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. I told you, we'd let you live here if you paid rent, but once you make her gobble, that's it. You're out. I have my limits, too. Dad had to step in when the turkey noises began. Now, to round out our, our little fatherless section. I mean, we've looked at Poop Trouble. We've watched Awesome Nader eviscerate uh, Mrs. Government. We've listened to a Let's Player driven to rage by Rayman make his mother gobble like a turkey with his fist. Let's you know, let's close that section out with one more. Uh, a blast from the past. We've seen clips of him before. I'm talking about our boy, Chibi Nekodemix. Give me just a second. Yeah. What? You need to get off of it. Two people now showed up. Passport pizza and breads. You need to shut this down. They see that you're on there. These kids see that you're on there and they're pulling the same shit again. Okay, so... You see, is there any way you can contact Facebook and tell them to block this bullshit? No, there isn't. Well, there's gotta be. There's gotta be a way to get on to call Google. Listen, Chippy, we've got all these people calling me telling you're showing your tallywhacker to girls on the internet. Now they're ordering us fucking pizzas. <laughs> this poor fucking woman. Oh, this poor fucking woman. Facebook something, email them whatever, and tell them that they put your name and phone number on there and you need somehow to block it. We're going to lose our phone number because of this. Because I asked them, I said, what number did they call from? And they said they called from this number. You need to get off for the night. Thank God Dad isn't here. That might be the problem, miss. The problem might be that Dad isn't there. Maybe the common theme in a majority of these previous clips is that Dad is not there. And that's why your autistic son, is, <laughs> who just constantly waddles into nonstop trouble, is having pizzas delivered while he plays Mario Golf, or whatever the fuck this is. Because now, I, now I, can, I, I hear the phone beeping up there like someone's been calling in here, too. So I can just hardly wait. He was pissed. The guy from Passport was really pissed. You ever hear a pissed off Italian son? Kept talking about his pizza pies. I don't know what the fuck he was saying. Half of it was in Italian. Kept saying Mamma Mia. How ironic is that? You're playing a game with an Italian man and I'm getting screamed at by one on the phone. Stop Let's Playing. You're not going to be famous. You know what? I'm gonna have to call that police policeman back again. 
that phone number on that card he gave you and tell them that they're doing it again to you. Wait, did, did she walk away and say motherfucker at the end? What was that? Hold on, let me back that up. She did, didn't she? Oh, I, let me raise the audio. Hold on, listen really carefully. I'm pretty sure she's like, motherfucker. <laughs> she's my autistic son, motherfucker. Mamma mia. <sighs> oh, dear. What's happening? I gotta go. Alrighty, dude. Because, uh, people are... Yeah. yeah people just... Yeah, I understand. As, we'll yeah, talk like, about it after. As soon as I went live, they... I guess they started ordering pizzas, and, like, two or three pizza places have now tried delivering pizzas to us. <laughs> oh, God, he's always getting into shenanigans. Oh, God, I don't even know what he's currently up to. I think he went overseas through the jet program or some shit. He was going to be, like, a teacher, and that blew up in his face, of course. And Now he's, like, in a polycule? Like, have we not seen that turn into his ass? He's, like, dating a group, like, He's in, a, he's in a relationship with, like, a group of 12 people. Am I, am I right on that? I don't really keep current on Chibi. I just wait for, like, the greatest hits to come out, and then I have a, a giggle watching them as they come out. <laughs> oh, what a life. God, I still remember first encountering him when he used to wear a dog collar and emo goth shit. And now now he's in a polycule. Now he's in a polycule. <laughs> failed speedrunner, failed Let's Player. Laughing stock of those communities in a polycule. Dating smelly people. Smelly, smelly people. Somebody said he's trans, he's in a polycule. They dumped him? No, fuck off. They broke? You're kidding me. He's been rejected already? He was in the polycule for a week. He's been thrown out? How do you... that? Wow, I guess he really is a speedrunner. Congratulations. Chibi Necodemics takes the world record in getting thrown out of a polycule in just under one day, three hours, and five minutes. <laughs> Round of applause. Let's get that up on the leaderboard. What websites still track speedruns? We need to get Chibi entered. He'll be number one in that position. Fastest person thrown out of a polycule, Chibi Necodemics. Adam White, come on down and accept your trophy. God. <laughs> Brutally dumped by 12 people at one singular moment in time. Oh, I think his soul might implode. That's pretty great. Wow, he's still gotten in him. Good for you, buddy. Good for you. Oh. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our portion of the Father's Day thing. Went over uh, Ben Thorpe. Went over uh, Gene, the father of Jesse Slaughter. Looked at the results of fatherless children dealing with single mothers. But there's still some other things to talk about. Not really within the theme of Father's Day, but still, I think it must be touched on. Because I issued a warning on my last stream, and somebody didn't listen. Somebody didn't listen because they didn't take it seriously, and now they're facing the consequences. So let's just uh, give everybody a reminder. Let's bring it up to speed. I gave somebody a warning and said, uh, you're next, buddy. Uh, you're next. An evil, nefarious thing which lurks out in the ether, in the void, an intangible wickedness has set its sights on you, and you didn't listen. You should have listened. Why didn't you listen to the warning? In fact, you had to get cocky about it. You actually, you actually egged it on. You egged it on. You said, give me more bad juju. <laughs> Why would you do that? Why would you taunt her? <laughs> oh. 
the future you chose. You literally asked for it. Send me the medallion. The demon must be guarded. As Josh was trying to make you wear the medallion. <laughs> Shut up, you worthless lipcock. Why are you so angry? You're like, send me the medallion. I'm not even fucking kidding you. So, like a week, a week after I said, dude, there's some fucked up shit. Listen, listen, dick. There's some fucked up shit going on. Like, everybody in this group's been fucked with in a severe way. They've had horrible luck. You're like the last one. You're the last man out. And this fucking curse is coming towards you. And you, you, you were like, bring it on. Give it to me. Hit me with both barrels. And then Magic Chan locked and loaded that fucking gun, didn't she? hit song from Faked Alaska. <laughs> I mean, come on. Let's be honest here, Dick. Do you really think it's a coincidence? After you taunted Magichan, after you begged for the medallion, <laughs> your stunt boy gets arrested, gets locked up, gets put in cuffs. Now, I've got some of the, like, the footage of the arrest and stuff. I'll play some. It's a mugshot. I'm not sure what happened to his eye. Is he winking? Has she possessed half of him? Is she sending you a message, Dick? Is his magic chat has possessed half of his body and she's winking at you? She's taunting you. This is half a possession. Get Chris Boars on the phone. We need his expertise. But here is here is Riley getting arrested. Oh, you're being arrested? Oh! They're arresting a young clipper. Oh shit! Chad, he's being arrested! Now, he got busted outside of, like, Eric July was doing it was like some comic event or some shit. Uh, he was out there uh, doing whatever the fuck he's doing, ends up getting arrested. Uh, they take him into county lockup, but it's like a different county. Uh, I think he got, like, a high bail amount, but he, he got out somehow, like, with bail and shit. I think it's like if they say, oh, you got to pay $10,000, you have to come up with, like, 10% of it, and then the bondsman covers the rest of it, as long as you have, like, collateral. I'm not 100% certain, but that that's a rough idea of what I get. I, he's not locked up right now. It's my understanding he's actually out now. But this is him getting arrested. One week after I told you, Dick. Don't taunt Magic Jan. And you're like, give me the medallion. I want the medallion. So I don't know I don't know how hard I need to impress this upon you. So I had AI help me, and I created a song. Maybe the song will convince you that you're in some deep shit and this demon is coming for you and it's far too late
putting it on. That's what I'm pinning it on. She's coming for you, buddy. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. You need to contact Chris Boars and hope that he can fix it. Hope that he's got that magical fucking power to fix it. All right. This is the second time. <laughs> I Like, if you get hit by a bus or something, like a fucking plane explodes above your house, like, uh, okay, I, I'm just, I'm telling you, I call that ahead of time. All right. I'm, t- I'm, t- I'm giving you fair warning about this magic chance shit. So we're all, we're all on the same page. Really felt that was necessary to bring up. I thought that was important. <laughs> it's been, it's been a wild, a wild couple of, uh, a wild couple of months. Uh, a wild couple of months. You got Dick being hunted by a demonic spirit. You've got, uh, Ralph fading into the ether. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. Who cares? Who cares what Ralph does? Oh. What else? What else do we have? Oh, we've got Rikeda. So waiting on that body cam footage. A little bit more of the reports that came out. You got some weird law tube shit. They've covered a lot of this over on the Keto Casino. So if you had a chance to watch them, you've, you've probably up to up to date on the majority of it. Uh, filthy, filthy dwelling is what the police report said. A lot of stories coming out from Aaron, uh, it was Emma Holt, talking about feeding the kids SpaghettiOs and law tube saying the kids should have taken care of themselves and Uh, That they were reported, apparently it was more than just one designated reporter. It was a bunch of people making complaints about the kids being hungry and starving. That's just uh, not not a great look. Now, what's going to happen with that? The body cam footage probably is going to shed more light on it. I have no idea. You know, uh, the police report and Aaron and others have said that the house was in a pretty bad state. So, when that body cam footage, if it gets released and it looks terrible, it's not a good look. Law tubes getting into its own little civil war. People flinging shit back and forth, threatening lawsuits against each other. Saw some really, uh, really shady shit going on between the two different groups. So I'm sure that'll blow up into something. Again, uh, Kino Casino's covering that more than more than I would. I've seen bits and pieces. Kind of waiting to see how this plays out and where it goes. To be honest with you. And then of course, how could I forget Gator? Oh, Gator! Gator! Oh, I got to talk about Gator and the VTubers. Apparently there's been a big kerfuffle about VTubing. As Gator tried to tried to fuck a VTuber, went to an anime convention. Apparently this VTuber's got like a fetish list full of eating and huffing shit and lollies and all this other crazy fucking crap. <laughs> it's, <laughs> oh, it's your memento moment, Gator. This is your memento moment. This is you riding that horse, Gator. You're riding that horse. It's dummy mommy time, Gator. Oh, God, Gator. Yeah, it's pretty bad luck. I don't know who Kiki is as far as VTubing goes. I mean, I've learned a bit about Kiki. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> I learned a little bit about Kiki. But apparently, uh, somehow, Gator doing this has, has um, entangled me into this. And now I must make a declarative statement about Pippa Pipkins and Kirsch. And VTubers in general, because they've made some edgy jokes. And apparently they're raging pedophiles, is what I've been told. And I must disavow them. I'm not going to disavow them. Sorry, I'm not going to disavow them. I like, I like anime and I like VTubing. And I don't think Pippa Pipkin or Kirsch are pedophiles. And I don't think they're into weird, fucked up shit. I think they make uh, edgy fucking jokes and meme like uh, a majority of people do. I could be wrong. And if somebody comes forward with evidence, or if they make a statement that's really heinous, sure. I have something to say on that. But I'm not going to throw him under the bus. Because Gator got a boner because some chick likes to eat shit. Or whatever the fuck it is that Kiki's into. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what... <laughs> it's, it's supposed to be bad, though. It's supposed to be really bad. Gator, you got to make a statement on this. All right? You got you to gotta come forward and talk about it. I've been dredged up to talk about it. So I'm curious. You know, another thing I'm curious about, coincidentally, as I had warned uh, Dick a week or so ago, about three or four weeks back, there's a very interesting occurrence that happened in the VTubing world. There happened to be a, a persona that sh- uh, suddenly showed up and uh, tried doxing a bunch of them. I tried doxing a bunch of them and uh, saying a lot of heinous shit to try to basically sink them. And it's really weird because I made these statements. Made these statements about this. Uh, you can kind of 
read along, but basically the gist of it was me explaining that uh, VTubing makes a lot of money. It's ludicrous amount of money from merchandise and super chats. And that it's only a matter of time until uh, a bunch of assholes decide that they're going to uh, try to hone in on it and uh, make long form videos and exposés uh, to cash in on some of those VTube and dollar dues. And what do you know? What do you think happens? Like in a week of me saying this and this event playing out. Oh, here comes Ethan Ralph to declare total VTuber death. Total VTuber death. Ethan Ralph, he's going to take him down. Oh, he's coming to take down the VTubers just like he took down America first for a whole week at a time before it completely petered out and nobody gave a shit. <laughs> Holy shit. Folks, there are a lot of fucked up people out there. I mean, we've watched. I've shown you clips of massively fucked up individuals. Uh, we, we just watched Ben Thorpe, for God's sake. All right, you, you saw this. I'm going to need a little more. If you want me to disavow people like Pippa or Kirsch or whoever the fuck it is <laughs> and really slam them down, you're, you're going to need to give me more than shit cut out of context or edgy jokes. I, I mean, I need some real deal shit. As far as uh, Kiki goes, it seems pretty fucked up. Sure hate to be Gator! Because uh, that uh, Tommy Mommy uh, riding the wooden horse shit, it's, uh, it's a bad look. I'm not sure. I'm not sure why. Oh, I'm not sure. I, I don't know what the fuck to tell you, man. I'm looking forward to Gator's statement on this. It's going to be fun to listen to, isn't it? Oh, was it a shit fetish chat? Can you walk me through this? <laughs> I'm kind of half paid attention. I know Lolly was one of the big allegations that was thrown in there. There was pee. I'm pretty sure. There's a little poo poo. There's a little poop time involved in this. I'm waiting for chat to catch up. Obviously, there's a delay. Yes, anime is based chat. That is very true. But I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Was it poop or pee? It was some fucked up shit. I probably should have listened to Matt at the internet. I think Josh covered this. It was toddler con? Is that what somebody said? Was the Kiki was into toddler con? I thought it was poop and piss and lolly. See, now we're just going wild with rumors. Which was it exactly? Oh, that's going to be hard to go. Oh, God damn, Gator. Oh, you're literally standing on a minefield. Holy shit. Any, any movement to any side is going to be disastrous. I, 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 you're catching up with me, Chad. <laughs> People are saying it was Tyler God. Holy fuck, <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, I don't. I don't think. Uh, I'm trying to think like. Oh, I'm trying to think like a. Like what would your PR answer to that be? How are you? How do you talk your way out of that one? <laughs> you're gonna have to use what was it Ben Thorpe said? The Greek sense of it? Gator, is that what you're going to say? Say, Todd the Con in the Greek sense of it. Oh, you're moving too quickly for me, Chad. God damn it. You know, maybe somebody, maybe somebody can tweet it to me. Could you tweet it? Could you tweet it specifically to me? <laughs> Somebody said, is there a chat summary now? Where are you guys getting the AI shit from? Chat summary. Uh, apparently auto-generated. Quality may vary. No shit. Uh, the chat is discussing the controversy surrounding streamer and VTuber Gator. People are sharing this, their negative opinions on him, as well as alleged support of a streamer named The Gunt, who is accused of abusing his cat. I think the AI might have got a little, might have got a little weird. Okay, somebody said she was raiding fetishes. So was this a gag or was it real? Because I don't know fucking shit about Kiki. No, we got something about Chibi. You know what? I guess I'll have to wait. I'll have to wait with bated breath for what Gator's statement is. Is he releasing a statement? Has Gator released his statement yet? I don't know why the cat's involved. I don't know why the AI thinks the cat's fucking involved. 
Okay, here we go. Here we go. Somebody sent me something. Uh, VTuber Gator uh, uh, talks to, in the video, talking about their favorite fetish being Lollicon and how they like to pretend to be the child. They pulled a moot? She wants to be the little girl? Is that what you're telling me? I'm, looking, I'm also double checking if there's the Gator statement yet. If he's released his political statement on how he's going to walk out of this one. I don't think it's happening. Uh, yeah, sorry. Sorry to disappoint. But anyway, back to the main point. Um, I, I like anime, and I like manga, uh, and I like VTubers. And uh, they're always going to be fucked up people in any sort of community. Uh, and you should laugh at them and mock them. And if that turns out to be Kiki and Gator, then laugh and mock away all you want. <laughs> but as far as Pippa and Kirsch go, I haven't seen anything that's extraordinary to me yet. Sorry. There's no disavowal if that's what you're hoping for. Jimmy stands firm on this. I don't really care. <laughs> I'm just, you're going to have to give me something of substance to make me go, oh. I tell that I like the little rabbit. A little fox. They're fine. As far as Kiki and Gator, best of luck. <laughs> best of luck. Holy shit. Oh, it's still checking here. Still checking to see if somebody can send it to me. All I know is the VTuber was rating fetishes and said they really like Lollicon shit. It was their number one fetish, apparently, and how they wanted to be the child. Uh, let's see. But Null accused Pippa and Kirsch being pedos when he covered that VTuber as well. Yeah, but then I heard that he retracted that. Oh, uh, what is it? Kiki did a hentai tag rating stream and Pee Pee Poo Poo was unusually high. Gator released a statement that he's being sacrificed to the corn. Oh, we've got a clip here. Let's see. Oh my god, are they Australian? Uh, let me see if I can... Hold on, chat. I'm going to see if I can pull the volume up so you can hear this too. I, I know you're not seeing the video of it, but I don't know what's going to flash on screen. Could be like a trap. So I'm not going to like put it up on screen and then there's something horrible that gets shown. So let's listen to this audio together. This is sent to me. This is apparently the... Uh, this is the pee-pee-poo-poo -poo stream. Let's listen in. Mm, I just kind of like it though. I, I'm like, mm, I like it's all right. I don't know. Okay, listen. Listen, as someone... As someone Oh, God damn it! Hold on, hold on, sorry. I just kind of like it, though. I'm, I'm like... Mm, Is it coming through, the volume? Right. Right, I don't know. Good. Okay, listen. Listen, as someone as someone that's done teaching before, I I find the whole thing a little as, uncomfortable. As what? As what? As someone that's done teaching before... Okay, so this is from Matt at the internet. Is this this is Josh watching this? So wait, the pee-pee-poo-poo -poo streamer's a teacher? Oh, I... As someone who's done teaching before chat. I find the whole thing a little uncomfortable. Like a little bit. Like, I've done teaching before in my life. I used to teach, uh, like I had a, I had a little bit where I was teaching, uh, kids, uh, like, you know, like primary school children, like little. Oh, what, what the fuck? Why would you, first off, right? Why would you, why would you, why would you do a fetish rating stream where you talk about pee pee poo poo and liking little girls? And then followed up by saying, by the way, I was a teacher that had access to young children. In what logical world would you think that would ever be a smart decision to put those two statements together? Kids. Almost like, I don't know. <laughs> Gator literally lurks on fucking VTuber. And he found that this bitch posts on fucking VT and he thinks he has a chance with her. And that is why he watches her because she is like a small time. She has like 15,000 followers on fucking YouTube or something. He thinks he actually has a chance with her and shows up in person at these conventions to say hello. And even she, a fucking pedophile who openly fantasizes about little girls being raped, sees Gator in public and sighs with with agony that she has to talk to him yes i know who you are gator you have fallen lower than anything you are not even liked by a pedophile on the fucking internet they can't even pretend to tolerate you gator it's time to give up oh 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 that one stings a little do not show this jim but holy fuck well i'm not gonna click it then don't send me something and say, don't show this, it's horrible. Well, yeah, no, I don't think so.
Here's the stream that kicked it off. Okay, so is this a legitimate stream? Let me ask you. Or is this somebody, are they trying to meme? Is this some shitty copy pasta that they're doing? Or is this actually like a tier video where they're like, this is really what I'm into? This is actually what I'm into. Uh, she said she likes characters with no womenly features, likes molestation hentai, and is a massive lollicon. Oof. Oof. Well, listen, I gotta... That I have to disavow. I'm sorry. Sorry, but if you've got proclivities towards kids, and you've got access to them through teaching, that's a completely different ballpark, isn't it? I mean, it'd be hypocritical of me not to find that fucked up. And my entire point of not liking Ross... Remember Bathtub Ross was the fact that he had access to fucking kids. You know, he said all this outrageous shit. And then he's like, oh, also I want to volunteer at schools. No. No. Fuck no. No, stay the fuck away from schools. You don't get to go to schools. And now you got this this particular person out there making fetish tier lists. And if it's not some kind of shit post or copy pasta, talking about how they want, you know, like molestation and little girls, and they're a teacher... Yeah, that's that's a fucking problem, Gator. That would be uh that would be a fucking issue, Gator. What are you doing? That would be, that would be a fucking issue. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh. Pin comment has all the timestamps. Deleted stream. Let me get you the link. Okay, I think I get the gist of it. Thank you for the people that actually sent me links to shit. That I got a chance to look at this. I was looking for the Gator statement if he's released one yet. I don't see it. Maybe he will. Maybe he won't. <laughs> Holy fuck. So that's been your month. It's like little, little fucking infernos everywhere. People getting arrested. People threatening lawsuits. Terrible shit coming out disavowals, little, little wars taking place, civil wars taking place. It's fucking, it's lunacy. The last two months have been fucking lunacy. I didn't even, you know, God, I, you know, I didn't even talk about Sneeko getting his teeth knocked out of his fucking mouth. I didn't even, I didn't think like, there's so much shit going on. You know, my little father's saying, you know, it was going to be a little kind of quiet closer. I didn't even get to really talk about Sneeko getting fucking punched in the face. By probably the most video game like hit I've ever seen in my life. Gamers won. Somebody in chat, gamers won, Jim. <laughs> gamers won. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know what? Let me see. Maybe I can find the Sneeko video. Let me find you the Sneeko video. I can at least show you that. Because it's like a minute of him getting punched in his fucking face. <laughs> just getting smacked around. I mean, if I had to give you... Oh, okay, let me see if I can find that. I want the actual video of him just getting fucking cold cocked. Almost, almost got it. I've got to dig through timelines. I'm looking through timelines here. Hold on, almost there. FPAC was a massive shit show. So I, apparently I'll, I'll bring you up to speed as I'm looking for the clip. So uh, Nick Fuentes decides to hold uh, the America First PAC uh, conference, like the fourth one of them, out in Detroit. They get a venue. The venue ends up canceling on them. So then they, they go to like an after party, and the after party ends up canceling on them. And then they decide to fuck with the security guard. And Sneeko's there, and he's fucking with the security guard. And the security guard, I swear to God, uh, basically does, like, it, like, I'm sorry, I, like, uh, let me at least get a fucking picture of it. You know what, this is good enough. This is good enough. This this sums it up well enough. You know, sure, that'll do. That'll do. Let me put this into OBS so you can get a good look. You, you have to fucking see it. It's really, I can't do it justice trying to explain it without actually showing it to you. Uh, call this Sneeko... Uh, get slapped. So they're at this after party. After party's like, you gotta get the fuck out of here. We want you gone. Uh, they decide to fuck with the security guard. They like, they knock his hat off his head for some reason. And 
uh, start chanting fuck you at him and all this stuff. And I guess, like, you know, he decided, ah, you know what? Not today. Not today, friend. Uh, today, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just cold cock the shit out of you. Now, hopefully that shows up on stream. On the left side is the security guard. Now, the angle you're looking at right now is him literally leaping through the air. It was the fastest reaction. It was like some injustice level fighting game shit. He fucking leaps through the air and Superman punches. Superman punches, like flies through the air, like Kung Fu. It's like Matrix shit. And just fucking cold cocks him. And if you look over on the right side, that's Sneeko missing parts of his teeth. Because they got knocked down his fucking mouth by the security guard who, who has just decided to play a real life version of Mortal Kombat with him. Decided he had enough. He was going to teach him a lesson. <laughs> Some DBZ shit happening out in the middle of fucking Detroit. Apparently that's not the only... Like this guy, this guy like took out like three or four of them. Like he just, he went full in. I highly recommend looking at the video. It's like 30 seconds long. It's funny as shit. Now, of course, immediately after this, Sneeko decides to call the police and starts talking about lawyering up and suing. So I, who knows where that's going to go. All I know is, does this dude generally pay for the privilege of this? Sneeko's the one that let his girl get fucked in front of him, right? That's that Sneeko? Am I thinking the right guy? The dude that sits in the cuck chair? It's hard to keep track. There's so fucking many at this point. Like, you could name a podcaster, and chances are they've watched their girlfriend get fucked by somebody else. But I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure he usually pays for it. Like, this must have been, that's why he's smiling. He got punched by a big, muscular black man. That's why he's smiling. He saved himself some money. Got it for free this time. People say, yep, that's him. Cuck chair. Okay, yes, that's, that's the right, I'm thinking of the right person. <laughs> How are you going to let your girl get fucked and watch, bro? What are you doing? Oh, what if the security... Uh, you know what? I'm not going <laughs> to... I'm going to cut it there. Cut it there. I've been highly offensive tonight already. Highly offensive already. But like I said, it's a lot of crazy shit going on. You got all the stuff with uh, Masterson and Riley in July going on, all the law tuber civil war shit going on, all the VTuber stuff going on. You got fucking half pack with Nick and Sneeko and fucking fist fights going on. It's just, it's been wild. It's been a wild couple of months. I know it's, this is weird. It's weird to end off a Father's Day stream talking about unrelated things, but I don't know. Maybe if they, all of these people had better fathers <laughs> or fathers at all, none of these problems would exist. I don't know. I don't know. I blame Miss Government. <laughs> I blame Awesome Nader's mother. That's who I blame for all this shit. It's her fucking fault. But I think we'll close out the stream here. Now I've got uh, uh, Super Chats to read through from Ko-Fi and Cash App. I will definitely get to those. We're going to take a small break. I'm going to grab a drink because my throat's killing me at the moment. Read through those. And then uh, close it out. Otherwise, to the normal people out there, have a happy Father's Day. I'm sure it doesn't involve any of this crazy kind of shit. I'm sure you have a normal life. It's nice to look at the wild side every once in a while and see all the crazy fucking stuff that's taking place. I wish I could have worked CRP in here somehow. If I'd done an I Am Alex segment, I could have got him in because he had a dog quote, and I love playing that dog clip, but didn't have the time. Didn't have the time. It'll always be there, though. It's my favorite, it's my favorite video clip, and I will use it as much as I can. So I've got that fucker locked and loaded. He's ready to go for future use at some point, if there ever is. Uh, but yeah, so everybody that came out, uh, enjoy the rest of your Sunday evening. Enjoy the rest of your Father's Day. Everybody else wants to stick around for the Super Chats. We're going to do a small break. When I come back, we'll hit them and then uh, close it out. So let me just uh, put on the break thing, put on the break music, and uh, give it about five minutes, and I'll be right back. <laughs> 